All right, let's go. Hopefully today uh, OBS doesn't do the weird thing where it's like, hey, I'm going to eat all of your RAM in the last like two minutes of your stream. But yeah, we're st this is the second part of episode five because there just wasn't enough episode to go around. May 17th, district court, defendant lobby number three. What do you mean Miss Faye is still being held hostage? And who's this mastermind? We know who it is. It's the the jerk. Is he even on the this? He's not showing up. I still can't get over how cute uh are we buff. You know what? I I, I did like tear up when she got out of her wheelchair. It was very good. Very sad about my space. See, I mean social media is just uh, as a whole, it's kinda eh. But I don't really know if MySpace or Facebook is worse at this point. Uh, well, probably. Okay, never mind. I think everybody can agree that Facebook is like the worst when it comes to like information laundering and things. But uh, how are we going to shudder and cringe at our high school picks? This is true. This is very true. You need to start OBS as an administrator. Are you really? Huh, that's weird. Paul Addison Wimperson was nothing more than a puppet. Well, yeah, I know he was a puppet. I'm gonna keep my task manager up just in case. His benefactor was the one pulling the strings. But I have no idea who they are. So all we know is that it's the person he was trying to give the orb to? Right, he was just following orders. Mm hmm. Oh no. Your little pixel fire mage. I had the thing for more than 10 years. I was like, ah, you know, I know a lot of people's first was it was like either um, RuneScape or MapleStory. And I had MapleStory on my computer, but I I just never played it. Whoever it is. Yeah, they really want to get their hands on the orb. So then Miss Faye's abduction is the work of this so-called benefactor, too. Right again, whoever they are, they're in Korean, along with Maya. I wonder who they could be. Ultimate betrayal, uh. Right, this Maya, the spirit medium you've been talking about. She wouldn't happen to be that bun-haired young lady you defended back in Korean. Uh, that's her. Why do you ask? I see. I think I know what's going on here. I've got good news for you, right? Maya is somewhere safe. That much I'm sure of. On this picture and I don't like it, is still a thing on Facebook? I, you know, I'm not sure. I, I, I think so. Or I, 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 this post is about me and I don't like it. I, I know Des shared that a couple of times yesterday in response to memes people put. I'm afraid you've lost me. Come on, Dirk knows all about the ins and outs of Korean. Report. What? Wow, rude. <laughs> so that's who the little snots patron is. It's all starting to make sense. That fool has no idea I'm here in the States with you all. Dirk, uh, you mind filling us in? Phone? Oh, it's, uh, Phoenix's phone. Huh? No caller ID. I wonder who's calling. Beep. You know, you can already tell that this game is a work of fiction because Phoenix just picked up a phone call by, uh, from someone that he did not know. Who does that? Nobody. Hello? Mr. Phoenix Wright, yes. Let me start by thanking you for taking such good care of my subordinate. Who is this? I believe you know me as Mr. Attishan's benefactor. Da! Sounds like they're using a voice changer or something to disguise themselves. I should do what she's doing. I don't know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, this is also true. Where's Maya? Is she safe? I had my ears on today's proceedings. What a shock it was to hear that the key to solving the orb's riddle is a spirit medium. I admit I did not see that coming. Wait, did they plan a listening device in here somehow? They probably put it in his placard, I don't know. Nevertheless, don't think for a minute that it'll guarantee Maya Faye's safety. She is not the only medium within my reach, you see. You harm a hair on Maya's head and you'll have to answer to me. What are you gonna do, Phoenix? Get hit by a car again? What can you do? Right, give it here a second. 
Wait, that's my phone! Hey there, how's it going, stranger? Who, who is this? Why, it's your friendly neighborhood dragon. I just happened to be in the US on a little trip. Minister of Justice Inga Karkul Karain. I, I mean, it's so obvious it's him. He's such a dick bag. Inga? What? Maya's kidnapper? Yeah, because he wants to be the king. Come on. Is Karain's Minister of Justice? Hey, I mean, from the first time I set eyes on him, I knew this guy was like a piece of crap. And that was in episode, the prologue, I think. D Dirk, is that you, you dirty turncoat? How in the, what in blazes is going on here? Oh, you know, just popped over to the States for a little R&R. &R. But enough about me, Inga. That was a poor excuse for a bluff you pulled just now. We both know your threats are as empty as your head. You can't lay a hand on Maya fan. I do mean that literally. Duh! What is he talking about? You can kiss your chances of getting the orb goodbye. <laughs> Maya Fey and my only, how shall I say, insurance, you know, Dirk. Oh no, Nayuta? What? I've got someone dear to you right in the palm of my hand, see? Yeah, he's talking about Nayuta. Whatever. Get rid of him. He can go meet with the goddess, I guess. Or the Holy Mother. Now that one, well, you can imagine what kinds of things I could do, right? Oh, gross. Uh, well, cool. <laughs> Glad you're seeing things my way. Meet me at Amara's tomb tomorrow, 3 p.m. sharp. A bit, excuse, how long does it take to fly here? And you better come alone, got it? If all goes well, the orb is all you'll need to get Maya Fey back. What? Dirk, that, that didn't seem to work quite right. Dirk, what's going on? You heard him. I have to get back to Koran at once. Yeah, let's do toe stuff. Um... I don't... I have... I have no idea what we were doing, and the, maybe it was a Zelda game or something? I, I mean... Shit, what game has toes in it? Does anybody know what games have toes in it? I don't know, but we did toe stuff. What did you miss? Oh, um... Inga, the the big, bad, stupid uh, justice leader man is the one behind Maya's kidnapping and stuff, and he wants the orb. We all already knew this, but the game had to reveal it to us dramatically. Now, we know that guy's a freaking jerk. What? Why? No time to explain. But are you even going to make it? What if there are no seats left on the next flight? Plus, you're a wanted man. and They're not going to just let you get on a plane. You don't know how games... Maybe I want the war. Wow. Maybe RC. Let me worry about that, Mr. Justice. It's fucking Edgeworth! Edgeworth, do you have a private jet that we can all take? I know you're rich as fuck, man. Come on. Oh, look at this beautiful man and his music. Ch Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth? What are you doing here? <coughs> Taking care of the hostage situation. Oh, now that you mention it... Hey! Koifer, how are you doing? Why is he wanted? Uh, because he's the leader of, like, the rebel group in Karain. So I think he's wanted on, like, an international level at this point. Possibly. Pearl did say that she saw you around Karain Village. I had him look into a few things while I was on my way back from Karain. Wow, look at them. Still such good buds. Including Maya's situation, of course. I was astonished to hear that she was still in Karain earlier. But it explained why I found no connection between her and Mr. Attishan. You really want cheese? But oh yeah, no, you need the kind of cheese that doesn't make you ill. Just checking in to say hi and getting back to the charity world. Oh no! Welcome back! I, I know, um, because I know they're doing the 12 Days of Indie. I just... I don't know. It, things have been kind of weird around here, so I was like, I don't know if I could actually help out with that as much this year. Especially, because the last time the time frames I took were like... Granted, I, I was like, I'm okay with doing stuff in the middle of the night, but... Like, my living situation has changed a little bit. Like, I'm still in this house, but, uh... I, I need to be more conscious of, like, late-night shenanigans and things like that, and just... I don't know. No, you did a lot in previous years. Yeah, because I, I know they had come to me about it, but I was just like, ah, I just... I'm sorry, guys. 
But hopefully it's been going well. I saw that they had a pretty good um, viewership like lately, so that's good. I mean, I I know that we we have a lot of people that that are return contributors and all that, so it's it's good to see. Yeah, the time they were mourning your time, I know, which was like late for me. <laughs> uh, but it explained why I found no connection between her and Mr. Attishan. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but going back to the phone situation, I've taken the liberty of chartering one for us. It's ready to take off at any time. He I knew it. Or the plane situation. Why did I say phone situation? Guys, I don't know how to read. Plane. But I knew it. Edgeworth is, Edgeworth is like the most resourceful dude ever. See, he really does care. He really does care, guys. <laughs> Almost at the end of the fifth day already. And like, oh, no, that's awesome. Damn, God, I know when, cause Kaz was in here like about a week ago and she was like, hey, did they say anything to you? And I was like, oh yeah, but what's up? And she's like, yeah, they start on the third. And I was like, what? Cause I forget that it, it happens like a month earlier. Cause I, I think before when they did it in December, it just, it kind of clashed too much with other large charities at the same time. So they were like, gonna do it a bit earlier so we can kind of space out stuff like that. He want no, he doesn't want me out of the way. He wants he wants Phoenix. He wants Phoenix to share one of those large, cushy, uh, like first uh the uh the fancy seats. I'm sorry. I forgot. First class. That's exactly what it's called. I forgot what chairs were called, guys. Welcome, Ellie. Well are are you home now, I'm guessing? And I will do what's necessary to hide the fact that Dirk Sadmati is on board. Edgeworth! Look at him! He's doing the Lord's work right now. Wow, must be nice being chief prosecutor. Must be nice being rich. You're home showered and relaxed. Yay! You made it through another day. Congratulations. Right, we have no time to lose. We must head for Korean at once. Right. I'm going too, after all. You're bound to need my help. No fair, I want to go too. Okay, seriously, guys. This isn't a vacation, Trucy. Besides, I'll need you to hold down the fort. But, Daddy! Guess I should also only bring what's necessary. Leaves Athena. Uh, sorry, Trucy, but would you mind holding on to this stuff for me? Unnecessary evidence foisted onto Trucy. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I, I hope everything goes well for you guys. Like, don't get any weird trolls and that they they keep getting good donos and stuff for the cause. But it's always good talking with you, Koifer. You feel super thirsty though? I mean, <laughs> sorry, I was gonna make a comment, but I'm like, I mean, not really. I was like, that's me every day, but not exactly. Twitter though, Twitter is super thirsty every day. There's no stopping that. It's like a desert, apparently. Edgeworth and his smug face, I know. <laughs> Fine, but you better bring me back something besides just more evidence, yes. Excellent, now let us make haste to Korain. Onto the plane that Edgeworth got for us. And that's how our sudden trip to the kingdom of Korain began. I never imagined I'd return to the country of my youth under such circumstances, though. Twitch is either salt or horny, not a single drop of H2O. Yeah, this is true. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's loading. I was like, hello? Are we here? 2.30 PM. Wow, we're, we just about made it in time. Temple, temple. And that was a long flight. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon. Talk about cutting it close. Uh, the Kingdom of Korain. This is no time to reminisce, but, uh, I gotta say, this place sure brings back memories. Hurry up, Apollo, stop reminiscing! We're right behind you! Amara's tomb is located in the courtyard of Garan Palace. We should have just enough time to get there. Then let's sprint there! Think you can keep up, Apollo? J -j sure no sweat. Uh... I'll contact the royal family and the local police and inform them of our arrival. Thanks, Edgeworth. Dang. The one guy who knows about, like, every legal system. Royal residence. Edgeworth, what would we do without you? 
probably fail horribly. T oh, take us 15 minutes to get here. Garan Palace, Royal Residence. <laughs> I wasn't made for all the running and climbing and near drowning I've done this week. It's 2.45, only 15 minutes left. See that cylindrical building rising in the distance? That's Amara's tomb. Amara? Wasn't that the previous queen? The one who was assassinated? Yes, and I'm the one they pinned it on. It'll take a few minutes to get to the tomb from here. Hm. So, you have returned, barbed head. Ah! It's... Oh, it's you! Never mind, I thought it was Nayuta. I guess he doesn't call him barbed head. Mm, I've seen her before on the news. If I remember correctly, this is the crown princess Rafa Padma Karain. What are you people doing here? This is the royal residence. Commoners are not allowed entry without permission. Consist of a lot of H. I mean, this is true. And as we see from some people, some of them have uh, overflowing amounts of H2O, but that's probably not really something we should be discussing here and now. A prosecutor from the States should have already called and requested permission for us to enter. As to why we're here, Your Benevolence, uh, have you seen Minister Inga? That would be a, f a fat and not H2O, though. Wait, no, I was talking about something else, Ellie, but it's okay. <laughs> not, I mean, yeah. Made it just in time again. Welcome back, Witchy! Yes, uh, we've only been live for about 16 minutes, so we're in the second half of, um, of episode five and now we're talking with Rafa again if you seek my father I saw him heading towards Amara's tomb your father's a crook was he with anyone you know like some shady looking underlings or something no he was alone why do you ask I looks like she has no idea about Miss Faye's abduction you hear that I think we have company what kind of company Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh, are they gonna be men with guns? Oh, hello! Bow down before her glory! No, no not bathwater. I was. <sighs> <It's>, um... <laughs> I'm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I DM'd you because I'm like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I if I should go into such detail on stream. <clears throat> Twitter makes you very thirsty because it evaporates all your water content. That's the scientific reason, and not yeah, exactly. It's because you stare at the screen and the water on your eyes evaporates. Her Eminence, Queen Garan, Grand Priestess of Karain approaches. Okay. Garan? Is that H2? Well, I would assume that it is. I mean, any liquid that comes from your body has to be derived from water somewhat, probably. I I think, oh, yeah. Well, I think Beth knows what we're talking about now. It's okay. Oh, it's her. Ah, it's Qu Queen Garan. Wow, are we allowed to even look at you? Hi. Guards. Are you going to say seize us? Oh. Surround Amara's tomb at once. What? Yes, your eminence. What? Would they have swords? It is. That's why I didn't mention it explicitly on stream. I mean, I say dumb things, but it, you know. What's she doing? Is she going to help us? Uh, excuse me, your eminence. So our barbed head lawyer returns. May we presume you are here from Maya Fey, the spirit medium, who has been abducted? Uh, y y yes, you may. Allow us to apologize for the criminal actions of our husband. Oh, uh, no need to apologize for him. Actually, no, I'm okay. 
Honestly, Inga, abducting a guest in our country? How could you? Father abducted someone? Uh, Your Eminence, what about those soldiers over there? I mean, it, it, I think it's okay. It, it's probably okay if we talk about things as long as we don't, like, linger on them. I don't know. Twitch is very strange about things, you know? They are the Goron Royal Guard, soldiers who serve the crown and no other. Royal Guard? They are an elite force selected from only the most loyal and outstanding of our subjects. Uh, and why have you ordered them to surround the tomb? The police will not come if it is my husband who has committed the crime. We shall have to storm the tomb and take Minister Inga into custody ourselves. That sounds dangerous. What? Y you mean... Gara, no! His hostage is in there! Dirk, how dare you set foot in the palace! Have you come to turn yourself in? Welcome to the D-Gens, yeah. Listen, we need to call a truce for now. Garan Royal Guard, seize this traitor of the crown! No! As you wish, your eminence! Resisted to die! Well, wait a second! Hold it! Oh. Oh, no! Slow down there, Garan. I'm here to conduct a hostage exchange. But if you take me in now, my affair is as good as dead. A hostage exchange? And why would he choose to do such a thing with you? We can talk about that later. Right now, I need to get in there before it's too late. If I can't resolve this in 20 minutes, you can storm the place. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Dirk, wait! <clears throat> Guards, allow the insurgent Dirk Sad Madhi to pass. Barbed Head, you have some explaining to do. Well, maybe you should have paid attention to your shitty dad. Right, well, while we're waiting here, I mean, at the same time, uh, like, the entire time that I was playing Phoenix Wright, there was just a lot of, like, talk about the things that Phoenix and Edgeworth were probably doing, you know? So, it's fine. It's that kind of stream. <laughs> Right, well, uh, while we're waiting here, Apollo, why don't you explain the situation? Why do I have to do it? Yeah, <laughs> me? Leave nothing out, Hornhead, or I'll dehorn you where you stand. Hornhead? She doesn't waste any time coming up with nicknames. And what's with the attitude? Her father's the one who abducted Miss Faye. Okay. Hostage taken by Inga. Do my ears deceive me, or did I hear talk of my father abducting someone? Oh, uh, you heard right. He abducted Maya Faye and... Insolent fool! Uh, pardon my rudeness! A gentle soul such as my father could not possibly have committed such a crime! What? No! What? Have you seen your father? Gentle? You think he's gentle? I'm afraid it's true, your benevolence. He's holed up in that tomb as we speak. Really, I find this difficult to believe. Why would he do such a thing? Because he's a big jerk. Inga Karkul Koran. Well, anyway, I mean, w pretty sure it's water, but either way, everybody please stay hydrated, whether or not you expel a lot of water from your body every day. I mean, you should. You should drink enough water to pee so you don't get kidney stones. Rafa could be a Genshin. She really could be, to be honest. Um, your benevolence, you saw your father heading towards the tomb? Oops. I did. I was over on that veranda deep in thought when I saw him hurrying towards the tomb. I'd say it was about 10 minutes ago. I like that I keep talking about that, and then my bot's like, yeah, go to Twitter, guys. Check it out. You're supposed to drink... That's so much water. Like, the thing is, I'm supposed to drink, like, two or three of these each day, but if I drink more than two, I just have to pee so much. Like, and you really shouldn't have to pee more than maybe, like, six or seven times a day, I think, is, like, the norm. Maybe more, depending on, like, how much you drink, but, yeah. Like, you don't want to go too crazy. You drink. You need to drink water, Ellie. You were in the shower. 
Well, actually, don't. <laughs> drinking shower water is probably kind of weird. And you don't absorb it through the skin. You gotta drink water, Ellie, please. Because I know you don't like tea. Well, it's not like you don't like tea. Your body avidly rejects tea. So, <laughs> you know, okay, yeah. I know, I forgot. You guys shower in hell water. And hot water tastes disgusting unless there's something in it. But you all, you, well, then drink more water. Or you drink tea, RC. You're okay with tea. Even hot cocoa, as long as it's water with something. When I saw him hurrying towards the tomb, I'd say it was about 10 minutes ago. Well, that's, I don't know. How much is 40C? That feels like that's pretty hot. Well, I guess it's not too much hotter than regular body temperature. I don't know. Isn't white tea just boiled water? No, well, I thought there was something in it. I thought boiled water would just be boiled water. Why was he rushing? Maybe he was worried he'd be late. Did you see anyone else heading for the tomb? I saw, I saw no one else after he entered. So Minister Inga and Miss Fay are the only ones in there besides Dirk. Who knows? But I wouldn't be surprised if he had a minion or two with him. Dirk, I sure hope he's alright. It's only been five minutes! Ugh, it feels like an eternity! Patience, Apollo, patience. Uh, okay. Now you're just being quiet. But, wait, did I ask both questions or did I only ask one question? Tea is very nice to hold when it's, I mean, this is true. To our hot water, so you gotta be careful. Oh, okay. Actually, I was wondering, Ellie, do you guys still use, cause I know here in America, um, hot water heaters are like the more common thing where it's just like, you know, it's like the big, container that's just filled with water that's hot and then it gets doled out and then refilled. I thought a lot of like <clears throat> European countries and stuff used like just the 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 little thing that goes along the the pipe that just heats the water up instantly. But maybe that's just like Japan and some other places where they just don't really have the space for like hot water tanks. White tea is made with the youngest green leaves and it is also treated differently. Oh, OK. Depends on the house. Gotcha, gotcha. I think the science was drink one liter of water per 25 kilograms of your body weight. All right. you, yeah, I, that's probably about right. And I know this is, um, this is about a one and a half liter bottle and I weigh, um, like a uh, hundred, well, two point. Actually, no, I can't. Uh, uh, because one, one kilogram is like 2.5 pounds. Okay, sorry everybody. We're learning today. Yeah, 2.20. Okay, so... So yeah, I weigh just over 100 uh, kilos. So I'd have to, yeah. So I'd need to drink like a, a bit over a gallon a day. Or just under? I'm so confused. I always get confused because I think a liter is slightly less than a quart, or slightly more. <laughs> Math is dumb. When the whole family showers, you always get, no, okay, then you gotta make sure you shower before them. It's been almost 20 minutes. That's how I feel right now, because <laughs> I've just been talking about hot water. What's taking Dirk so long? The appointed time has come. Our royal guard shall now storm in. Um, Can't you wait just a little longer? Two and a, yeah, exactly. But also frequent trips, ex yeah. No, we cannot. Every second we wait puts the hostage's life in even more danger. Therefore, we see no alternative but to order our guards to storm in. But that'll put Miss Faye's life in danger too. Guards, storm the tomb and seize Minister Inga along with the insurgent Dirk Sadmati. Yes, your eminence. What, Dirk's under arrest too? Naturally, that traitor snake assassinated my predecessor, Queen Amara. Now go, seize them both. I bet she's like trying to get the power for herself now. Ah, we're going in! Follow me, men! For her eminence! Ur Dihara Garan! So that you can have your warm showers. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I hope no one gets hurt. 
Like, I, I always kind of shower in the middle of the day rather than the morning or night, because that's when most people shower here. Ah, ah, your eminence! What the? Why are they running back out? What is the meaning of this? Uh, something terrible has happened. Dirk, the, the minister, he, he's dead! What's this? What? what? Wait, 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 wait. Are they both dead? Uh, what? Apollo, quick! I'm right behind you. No one enters without our... Hmm. Come, let us see what has transpired. Yeah, shut up. I don't care about your customs. Yes, your eminence. Oh, boy. Um... W w where's Dirk? Apollo, over here. What? Dirk? Uh... Dirk, what? What have you done? Uh, Apollo? Look! So it is Minister Inga who has fallen. Guards, seize this murderous man at once! Yes, your eminence! Surrender now or perish, rebel scum! Oh. No, 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 wait! Darn! Okay. Damn, this is getting intense. Oh, okay. Those are tying up noises, I guess. Dirk! They're taking him away! Well, what are you gonna do about it, Apollo? Thud. Ow! Dirk just threw something at me! Wait, this is the- he threw the orb! Is he telling me to keep it safe? Nick, is that you? Maya! Are, are you alright? Maya! She's okay. D Dirk, he- he saved me. I feel exhausted. I can't keep my eyes open. Maya! Ah, she probably needs a burger or two. Minister Inga, the man behind Miss Faye's abduction has been killed and Dirk was arrested for his murder. So it was that the abduction of Maya Faye came to a sudden and unexpected resolution. Hell yes! That's a win for Ellie. With this, the curtain fell on the minister, but things were far from over. Your bribery roll check got approved. Yeah, see, that's what happens. You've been playing Baldur's Gate 3, and now you're getting better at coercion. Your charisma. Oh. Sorry, I just, somebody, <laughs> somebody, um, commented on, this makes me feel really good, but somebody, some random guy commented on one of my YouTube videos where I was reading a book. I actually abandoned that a while back because, um, I just kind of ca caught up with other things. And then all last month I read a scary story each day, like by H.P. Lovecraft or Edgar Allan Poe and all that. And I was like. This actually feels really nice, so I think I'll get back into reading. And somebody commented on it where they're like, dude, please don't don't abandon the series. And I was like, you know what? I think I'll go back into uh, I'll start reading that book again and, and finish that up and then and keep going from there. Because I was like, man, it's kind of nice. And I mean, honestly, with games like this, it, it's nice to have practice more like diction and stuff like that, because Jesus Christ, there's a lot of talking in this game. And there's a lot of writing, and it makes it a little bit easier, like the flow and all that, when I can enunciate things better and all that. And it's also better for my captions, because then I, you know, on YouTube, if people need the captions, at least they're accurate, because I'm actually sounding out each word correctly and saying things as they need to be said. You love Italian food? They're free to conquer any time? Aw. Conquer all world. Yeah, exactly. I haven't had pizza in a while either. I was going to get it the other day, but. Then Uber Eats didn't have like the half off thing anymore. And I was like, now I don't want it. 
Although I could I could just ride down to where the pizza place is because it's literally only like 10 minutes away from here. So maybe maybe later, maybe tomorrow. Because they it's mod pizza, so they have small pizzas, which I could totally fit into my little like um, my little trunk on my scooter. Garon Palace, Royal Residence. Everybody have a oh, you do! See, pizza for everyone! Apollo, what happened? I can't say for sure, but from what I can tell, it seems Jerk has killed Minister Inga. Wh what? You think he did it to save Miss Faye? And that's why I should, I should just order a pizza, and then I'll eat a pizza while, <laughs> while playing Phoenix Wright. You think he did it to save Miss Faye? Most likely, but who knows? I'm really confused right now. My, my father, he... This cannot be. I must see for myself. Your benevolence, we cannot allow you to pass. Fool, stand aside. Forgive us, but we have direct orders from her eminence, Queen Garan. Uh, father? Oh, father. Jerk, you will pay for this. Your father was kind of a big jerk face. Apollo, let's go regroup somewhere. I yeah. You're hating having to make dinner? Yeah, no, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that you have that. Dirk, it wasn't really that you did it, right? You know what makes me sad? Though, I mean, this sounds kind of weird, but, um, because I know there's, there's like a treat stream thing that they have for stream where you can literally, you can order food for people through like this specific little app. Um, but I kind of wish they just let, like, you kind of have an anonymous, um, an, an anonymous, like, address on, like, DoorDash or Uber Eats or other, like, common food apps. Because, like, TreatStream only works with certain restaurants, and it tends to be, like, really expensive. Because th they usually work with, like, wing or pizza places, which aren't really that cheap here. So I'm like, man, it would be nice if people could just send you anything, like tacos. Like, damn. You know, without having to give out your your address information. Granted, I mean, there are plenty of people I trust with my address, but also just like, I don't trust just random people with my address, you know? You need that kind of stream in your life? Yeah, I know. That would be, a, yeah, I'm just like, man, why haven't they done that yet? Like Uber can make so much money if they set like anonymous, like gift food things because people would totally use it. Get you with the program Uber Eats. Damn. Derek, it wasn't really you that did it, right? I don't know, it's funny because I was looking because, <laughs> you know, Ellie lives in Sweden in like a weird place. And I, I put her address into Uber Eats and it was like, we don't have service here yet. And I was like, oh, and then she's like, there is one food place that or one food app that does it. And I checked and there was literally one pizza place on that app that delivered to her that she had never heard of before. Give you, give you cash, just send you food. Yeah, no, exactly. Food is amazing. Like, I love donations and stuff like that, but food, oh, it's great. May 18th, temple, temple. And then when you get the food, you can just eat it on stream and be like, thank you, and then make like a huge mess. Are you okay, Apollo? Uh, yeah. Edgeworth speaking with the local police. So let's sit tight until he returns. Okay. Trust in my boyfriend. I could live off a string of Japan if it was that. Yeah, this is true. Because that, like, eating is expensive, you know? There is one pizza place that delivers here, but only on sa only on Saturdays? Really? Oh, dang. I know. <laughs> that's That seems like they're losing a lot of uh, money that way. But I guess if they're far, far out, maybe they're just like, the drivers don't like doing that. I know you must be in a state of shock right now, but I need you to stay with us, Apollo. He's right, I can't go to pieces now. Thanks, Mr. Wright, I'll be fine. Are you, are you gonna be fine? It's the next one, oh, my mom is calling me. Um, boop, boop, boop. Hello? Hello, happy Sunday. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm working on uh, I'm working on Phoenix right right now. We were just talking about how everybody wants to eat pizza, and also we wish that there were more ways for people to send food to each other. <laughs> I know. I just cooked this really good curry, and I'd like to be able to send me stuff. And it's in my fridge. 
Oh, I made curry, um, like a few days ago. I just finished it off yesterday, but curry is very good. It is very good. Yeah, I got chicken curry is really good. Beef curry is, is amazing, but chicken curry is also good in its own way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, Ellie and, and Co. say hello. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think you're going. Hi, yeah, you went through like one of those bad spots that exist everywhere in Hawaii. I Yeah, I feel like it's pretty I, I think just no matter what service you get, Hawaii is just it's there's going to be spots that are not good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I, I got gotcha. you. It's already getting like pretty l close and it's just, there's probably a lot going on flight wise too, because everything's starting to open back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the holidays are definitely like a very hmm time, so. True. This, yeah, this is true. Like, there's no, uh, you know, other than, like, the 4th of July, I think, like, everybody's kind of like, it's just summer. Yeah, well, people do Christmas whenever, so, yeah, it's Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Oh yeah. Well, that, <laughs> that's totally fine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Love you too, Mom. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, I just had to talk to Mom. Also, thank you for the... F 
I don't know why that... Thank you for the follow, whoever followed. I'm sorry, the, the text was very small on the screen. And for some reason, it's not showing up in um, my activity feed. <laughs> so, but thank you for that. Here's some, some wholesome moment moments. Well, oh, thank you. Thank you for the bits. All right. Yeah, I, I, I was like, I can't really, I, I, I could have advanced the text, but I was like, nah, because I know some people who are watching this, like on YouTube, probably like having the voices and stuff or aren't always looking at the screen. So, bye, mom. yeah, she seems to be doing all right. But yeah, it looks like, pretty sure that was a sub or where, I thought it was, I think it was a thought. I don't know, it, it, it's not telling me. It, the last thing it said was Thunderstorm's raid the other day and then the bits. It was a sub? The, I don't know why it's not, why it didn't. Raphael, well thank you Raphael for the, the sub. If that was a sub and not a follow or a host. There's a lot of alerts that it can be. But yeah, yeah, we're, I am not having Thanksgiving uh, in Hawaii just cause there's, everybody is trying to apparently have Thanksgiving in Hawaii right now. And it's already like, a week into November, which means that plane tickets are going to be stupid expensive, but it's fine. We'll we'll figure things out. Okay, right, Mr. Justice, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Is that true? It's okay, we'll figure something out, guys. It looks like things will only get more complicated from here. Uh, Prosecutor Edgeworth, what's happening with Dirk? <coughs> As I understand it, he has been officially charged with the murder of Minister Inga. He, he has? However, I did manage to get us permission to investigate the crime scene, and I expect we'll be allowed to visit Mr. Sadmati shortly. Thank you. Literally during your birthday week? Yeah. Well, yeah, It's a, that's what we do. Ellie, I'll just have a birthday stream for you, and I'll eat turkey, and then everybody will be happy. I'm sure glad Prosecutor Edgeworth is here with us. Also, it just so happens that Detective Sky is here in Kurain. Meatloaf and Squash. Yeah, I know you said the, uh, the meatloaf earlier. Squash is pretty good too. I really like zucchini. I haven't had zucchini in forever though. So I asked her to assist us with our investigation. What? What's she doing here? It seems Prosecutor Sadmad has grown quite fond of her. He's been ferrying her around all over the place. A few days here, a few days there. They've almost become a team of sorts. And despite what Nayuta says, seems he thinks highly of Emma's skills. Wait, what? You wait, what guy? Are you talking about Edgeworth? Edgeworth's very good. Oh, stuff zucchini. I should make that. So what now, Apollo? I think I'll go pay Dirk a visit at the detention center. Oh, you're talking about Sadmati? Yeah, no. Fuck. Fuck no, Yuta. Like, seriously. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have some kind of redemption arc, something, blah to blah, in the last, like, couple hours of the game, but I'm still gonna think that he's a giant dickbag, so. I wanna go check on Maya at the hospital. What about you, Athena? Well, if there's footwork to be done, I'd better stick with Apollo and give him a hand. Very well, then I will accompany you right. Yay! They can hold hands all the way to the hospital, and then they'll go in there and be like, Okay, we gotta... Can't let people know. Okay, we'll go our separate ways for now. Alright, if anything comes up, you have my cell number. Da, da, da. Do you know your way around here, Apollo? It's been over ten years since I left, but I'll try not to get us hopelessly lost. Oh, Meatloaf. Now, Meatloaf is very good. Meatloaf today, pizza tomorrow. Perfect. Wait, can I see him right now, or? Oh man, this place is not nearly as nice as the other detention center. Edge he does look so different. He looks like taller almost, but he's also got his glasses and everything. With fed yes! Oh, my mom's made it with that for, or even like, um, have you ever had it with like eggs in it? Because like then the eggs like, get kind of like boiled in there. I don't know, I, I don't really, or I think you, I don't know if you like boil the eggs first and then shove them in or how it works. But like, like whole eggs, not like, cause I like, I'll usually mix like, like uh, I'll crack an egg in there so it has like that, I don't know, some kind of like kind of airy texture to it. But I've seen people put like whole eggs. 
But I don't know if they put, if they like, I guess they boil the eggs first and then throw them in or something like that. Apollo, here to see your old man, are you? Dirk, are they done interrogating you? Nope, the fun hasn't even started. I imagine they'll take, they'll really rake me over the coals though. I don't even want to think about how harsh their interrogation method will be. Oh no, they'll literally rake me over the coals. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, but that's nothing compared to what they'll do if they find him guilty. Yeah, cause he'll die. They branded me a terrorist who killed the previous queen and now the justice minister. If found guilty of these crimes, I'll be facing a very public execution. P public execution? This is worse than I thought. Come on, son, turn that frown upside down. He'll jinx us. As soon as I get out of here, I'll take you this tasty hash house I know. I'd like that. I really need to focus on what happened. Time to switch to work mode. Dirk, can you tell me what happened? Oh, and uh, there's also something I want you to take a look at. Um, why did you throw this at my face? I see you got it safely out of the tomb. Why did you throw it at me like that? I want you to listen carefully, son. The orb must not fall into Garan's hands. Not ever. I thought Minister Inga was the one who was after it. He was the one who lent it to Professor Buff to study it, after all. I loved it when he had meatloaf at school lunch because they always made it with fa See, that's the thing. School lunches here are pretty, like, not great. But school lunches in other countries are apparently, like, actually made with, like, decent ingredients, or they make, like, more than just, like, flat pizza, burger. I don't even remember where else there was. It was mostly just, like, burgers or chicken burgers and stuff, and... I think sometimes there was lasagna? I don't. It's been so long. So you haven't... Haven't you exposed his crime now? I have, but... Uh, there's more connected to this relic than meets the eye. Much more. And whatever it is, I can't help feeling that it could turn this entire kingdom upside down. You said something like that before. Looks like Dirk's intuition is at it again. Garon will do anything to retrieve this. So guard it well, son, at least until tomorrow's trial. Okay, let's talk to dad. Heart to heart. Pizza and burgers were like your cheat days and didn't, ha oh really? Yeah. I feel like we had burgers like every day. It was kind of one of those things where you walk by with your tray and they have like an area where there's like the burgers, the cheeseburgers and an area with like the chicken burgers and then like some other stuff that you could get. Uh, and they just like charged you once you got to the end, depending on what you got. Dirk, what happened in there? Whenever he got pizza, yeah, I know. It was just like pizza day. You didn't really kill Minister Inga, did you? Well, the thing is, uh, I really don't know. Huh? I remember seeing the mural of the Founder right as I entered the tomb, but I got all dizzy immediately after that. Did you get drugged? Yeah, you have to pay for lunch at school, unless you're like below a certain uh, like financial threshold with your parents. Yeah, remember, I live in America, Ellie. We got charged like, I think even in elementary school but like you, the, your parents could like get you a little card or something. Um, and it was like, okay, you can get lunch for like so many days or something. I don't know. It was always chicken nuggets. Oh man, I don't even remember. I just remember like the chicken patties. The next thing I knew, I was standing there with a bloody knife in my hand and covered in Inga's blood. So you don't remember meeting with him? No, the last thing I remember after entering the tomb is feeling really dizzy. There's no way he can explain what happened if he can't remember anything. I yeah. Wait, wait, hmm. I suppose there's no getting out of this one. But we can't give up yet. 
<laughs> I was just messing with you, son. That's a terrible jest, Dad. How about feeding children in Africa? Apparently, wait. Wait, really? Wow. I mean, it's pretty sad, but yeah. A lot of schools, like, waste their money on, like, bullshit. Like, here in Texas, we have some high schools that have spent literally millions of taxpayer dollars making, like, football stadiums. And it's like, it's high school football. It doesn't even matter that much. What is wrong with you? There's a lot of unnecessary things that happen. And then they, they blame, like, everybody else. Like, oh, no, it's because we have free lunches and stuff for some people. And it's like, no, that's... Like, when you go to school, even in elementary school, you have a list of items that you have to buy for your child because the school will not provide it for them. Like, so it's like, where is all this money going that the schools have? I'm not sure. Well, stop. It's not funny. Yeah, that's right, Apollo. You tell him. S sorry. Sheesh, nothing seems to phase him. Not even being arrested for murder. And this is going to be a tough one. Uh, one tough case, Apollo. Not only have I been charged with Inga's murder... But I've also been charged with Amara's assassination from 23 years ago. You're on trial for two charges? Garin is practically licking her chops just thinking about my public execution. Guess it means we can't afford to lose our heads, huh? <laughs> I, I don't know how you can laugh at a time like this. So, son, I take it you'll be defending me at my trial? Of course, you can count on me. That's my boy. Looks like your nerves are as steely as those vocal cords of yours. After all, you've got the defense culpability act to contend with too. Oh, right. So if you're found guilty, then I'll be charged with the same double homicide, huh? Don't tell me you forgot about that. Yeah, the statute of limitations is usually like seven years, which is something that they talk about in the first game. But apparently in Korean, I guess that doesn't exist. So I, I don't know. I'll, I'll be fine. I just have to make sure we win this one. We got to remember, this is like kind of like a weird amalgamation of a lot of things, but mostly that it just makes no sense. Sometimes they follow the rules and sometimes they're like, oh, you killed somebody 50 years ago. It looks like you're fucking going to jail. I mean, I get well, I. I don't know, it makes me think, like, of the cold cases with, like, serial killers and all that, because I guess they still, like, arrest them if they can, but I don't... I don't know. It's been caught. Oh. I I feel like, um... I think that came from uh, Kingdom Hearts. I'm not sure why I was talking about buttholes, but it happened. You sure? Because you don't sound very fine. Unless the statute of limitations is different for, like, different offenses... Okay, let's look it up, everybody. Uh, statute of limitations. Statute of limitations on a civil law systems in a prescriptive period is a law passed by a legislative body to set a maximum time after an event which legal proceedings may be initiated. Oh, I guess it's different for... Uh, um... When the time which specified in a statute passes a claim might no longer be filed, or if it is filed, may be subject to dismissal if the defense against the claim is raised that the claim is time barred. What? Well, tell me how long it is. <coughs> okay. Under international law, genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes are usually not subject to the statute of limitations as codified in a number of multilateral treaties. So I guess since it was like a huge crime where he killed the Holy Mother or whatever, or killed like a um, a ruling person, I guess maybe it's immune to the statute of limitations. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that would be considered like a war. I don't think it's considered a war crime. Da, 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 da. But I think here, for most stuff here, it's like... Oh, they vary. I thought it was seven. I, maybe just for that one case, they were like, it's seven years. Um, <clears throat> Apollo? What was that about an assassination 23 years ago? 23 years ago. 
Uh, about that incident 23 years ago. That was when the previous queen, Amara, was assassinated, wasn't it? Yes, someone set her private residence on fire. She lost her life in the ensuing blaze. And you were arrested for the crime? Why would they arrest you, Mr. Sadmadhi? Weren't you just a lawyer back then? What relation could you have had with the queen? She was my lover. Um, about that. Amara was, well, she was my wife! Ah, what? I may not look the part, but I was once husband to the queen. In short, I was royalty. What? No way! Yeah, <laughs> what? Are you saying you won the heart of the reigning queen? Ha 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 Come on, you're talking to a guy who honed his prowess against witnesses on the stand. Even a queen is no match for this dragon's glare. That sounds threatening. Pretty sure if it's against the queen, it's... Yeah, true. True. Well, wow, you're really something else. So was a verdict ever reached, Dirk? I acted as my own attorney and won. Until I was accused of fabricating evidence, that is. Then it all went south. Now, where have I heard a story like that before? I don't know, maybe in, uh, <laughs> Apollo Justice? What happened after that? I, uh, I made a run for it. <clears throat> you ran, but why? I didn't kill Amara, and I didn't fabricate any evidence. But if I had stuck around for a retrial, I'd have been found guilty for sure. I couldn't allow that to happen. Amara's true killer would never face justice if I did. What if the true killer is the queen? Because she's like, I want to be the queen. The current queen, not the old queen. So I left my law practice behind and went underground. That was 23 years ago. Are you telling me that after all these years, you still haven't discovered the truth? Yeah, the fact that it was an arson means that the crime scene was reduced to ashes. There is little in the way of evidence left. It's... Just been a brick brick wall after brick wall. Guess that means it's all up to me to figure it out, huh? Along with Minister Inga's murder, of course. I think I'm gonna be sick. Come on, son, don't look so down. With you on the case, it'll work out somehow. I hope he's right. Say, son, do you remember my office? Uh, sure. I remember that messy, dimly lit room. The file I've, I've amassed on Amara's assassination is kept there. I think it might help you on this case. Do you remember how to get there? Let me think. Through a manhole. I recall going in through a manhole. How can I not, Dirk? I hated how I always got so dirty getting there. And that stench! That old case is important too, but I should probably focus on the minister's murder first. I'm afraid your time is up. That's fine. Get out of here, you dumb bastard. N Nayuta. It's time for the prisoner's interrogation. So begone, you putrid headed criminal abetting lawyer. God, I fucking. I hate him. He. Every time. Every fucking time. Like, I. J he's. I don't care if he gets a redemption arc. I'm going to just hate Nayuta for the rest of my fucking life because he's such a dick and he it's always the same. It's always the same thing. Yeah, no, he's just an asshole. Like we're literally halfway through the final chapter and he's acting exactly the same as he always has. Wait, don't tell me you're the prosecuting attorney. What? But that would mean is there a problem there? Time to start up some BG3 and no life away. All right. Make sure nobody dies. Try not to lose too much blood. Be safe. At least he's not what's her face. Who's what's her face? Is there a problem here? You bet there is. He's your father. And your point is? My relation to the accused is irrelevant. The fact remains, I am a prosecutor. No, no, that's not what I... I don't think I'm getting through to him. Oh, oh, you're talking about, um, uh, uh fucking, um... 
God, why do I always forget her name? She's terrible. Flower Butterfly Girl, or Butterfly Girl. Um. Fuck. Not Delilah. It's a D. Dahlia! Not, yeah, I was like, Del no? Yeah, Dahlia Hawthorne. There we go. That crazy lady. At first when you said, at least it's not What's-Her-Face, I thought you were talking about, um, Francesca, and I was like, don't talk bad about my wife. Just because she really likes whips doesn't make her a bad person. Hm. Nayuta, long time no see. Shivers in disgust. Yeah, she was just awful. Dolly was terrible. Someone dies depending on who it is. You might break your no real. Okay, well it's okay. I think in that case a, a do over is fine. I won't. I I will not begrudge you that. How have you been? Okay, cool. Look, I hear you've been serving Garan rather faithfully, in fact. Whatever happened to our dream of taking her down and changing this country, son? The past is the past. What do you mean? Why are you doing this? You need to let it all go, father. It's simple. People change. The Nayuta you knew exists no more. Listen, son, I don't know what made you change like this, but you're still my boy, even if you prosecute my case. The rest of the Defiant Dragons and I eagerly await your return. Whenever you're ready, we'll welcome you back with open arms. <clears throat> As I've said, I've moved on. Now let us waste no more time. For flowers do not blossom simply from talk of the past. Nayuta, why are you such a dick? Can I punch you? Why do I get the feeling there's something he wants to say but can't? Guard, move the accused to the interrogation room. Yes, sir! This way, you rebel scum! Ow! Watch it! Not so rough, will ya? Nayuta, is he seriously going to prosecute his own father? Father? Well, let's go back to Amara's tomb. I don't know. Nayuta is not my favorite character by a long shot. Is he my least favorite character of the series? I'm not sure, but he's 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 pretty high up there in people I do not like. So this is the tomb of Amara, the previous queen of Karain. It's really lavish. I guess you could say it's fit for a queen. Uh, come on, Apollo. Is the faceless woman that mural over there Amara? No, that's the Holy Mother. She's the one who brought the spirit channeling technique to Karain. Oh, right, the woman in the orb. Oh, it's you two. Getting right down to business, I see. I bet it's Emma. <laughs> She's everywhere. I mean, it is the crime scene. Hi, Emma. We heard you'd be give us a hand if we needed it. Yep, Mr. Edgeworth asked me to help where I could. So, it's been quite a while since you've been back in Karain, I hear. Yeah, more than ten years, in fact. Well, you sure didn't waste any time. I mean, you're already mixed up in a murder. You're as big a trouble ma magnet as Mr. Wright. But please don't say that. My luck's already bad enough as it is. Emma, I hear Prosecutor Sadmati has requested your services again. He seems to have really taken a liking to you. <laughs> you mean his ephemeral... Er, <laughs> oh, ephemeral holiness? Oh no, the Snackoos are back! I don't mind that he approves of me and my abilities. It's just, his people skills need some serious work. But when he manages to smile and compliments my work, it's hard to say no. That sounds like an incredibly abusive relationship. He says nice things to me sometimes after he, he uh, uh, after things, and it makes everything okay. That's been tough, and lack of sleep has been brutal on my skin. To make matters worse, the defendant in this case is someone I know. I mean, how could this get any worse? Okay, she, okay, 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 okay. Oh God, come on, I get it. We only needed one line of munching. Sounds like they've got one complicated prosecutor-detective relationship going on. Oh, sh the Q-tips. 
The Q-tips. I'm sorry, but you were, you were, you got lost in rich people houses. I'm sorry, Ellie. Uh, when's the next time you work or go out to do things? Emma, have you determined the cause of death? Blood loss from a stab wound. Next week. Are, are you completely out of Q-tips or are you just severely low? Could you steal somebody else's Q-tips? They'll never, they can never tell. Complete, no! Wait, wait. A single stab in the back was enough to cause the victim to bleed to death. The estimated time of death is 3 p.m., which is when Dirk came onto the scene. You need to leave the keys tomorrow? Okay, so you will be there so you can, okay, cool. Um, wait, what time do you have to go there to leave the keys? Francisca looks like she'd be the ideal. Well, she is very cute, but she's also dangerous. But I'm kind of sad that like, we haven't heard about her at all since the end of the, uh, the, the last game she was a part of. Anytime before nine. Okay, well, just, gosh, I can't set an alarm for that. Just text me when you're about to go there. You can be like, I'm doing the key thing, and I can be like, cotton, cotton swabs. Okay, so he bled out from a stab wound. I feel like he should have suffered more than that. Sorry. Any suspects besides Dirk? No, he, Maya, and the minister were the only ones here. And Maya had been tied up until she was freed by the Queen's Royal Guard. Could someone have been hiding somewhere in here? Not likely. I was told this tomb was searched from top to bottom right after the murder. And during that time, the Royal Guard set up a perimeter to prevent anyone from escaping. In other words, the crime scene was completely sealed off. It would appear so. Hmm, no way for a third party to escape without being spotted, so... Great. It's another one of those convoluted locked room mysteries. It's emo I, I know you... I don't... I don't know. It, just, it, I, but I don't want to call her Ema. I've been calling her Emma the whole time. What the victim? Minister Inga. He is the kingdom's minister of justice, correct? Yes. Inga Karkul Karain was the second most powerful figure in Karain. Plus, he was married to the queen. Seems strange that someone of his status would abduct someone. Apparently, he only told a few of his most loyal subordinates about his plan. That way, there was little chance of the police or even the queen finding out, which is bad. What was Inga hoping to gain by getting his hands on the orb? That I don't know, but I'm working on it. I wonder if it really was for what Paul Addison Wimperson said. I must deliver it to my benefactor at all costs! Yeah, what do they want a relic for anyway? <laughs> the benefactor, an old legend. I don't care about this asswipe. I know that he wanted the orb. A great power that is said to be bestowed on whoever solves the orb's secret. In Karain, only those who channel spirits are said to fit to rule. They hate just as much as the one dude who conned Trucy and cased. Oh yeah, that guy sucked a lot. That I hate. Wait, really? Like, have I not met them yet? Is there actually. Are there people I still haven't met? Yeah, Nanuta is just terrible. Is that why Inga wanted such power? Did he want to be king? Mara's tomb. So, this is the tomb of the previous queen. Yes, Queen Amara was laid to rest here. She lost her life in an arsonist blaze. What a tragic end. I heard this tomb sits on the actual site of her residence before it was burned down. They built it on the same spot so her soul could rest in peace. So this is where the fire happened, huh? Why do you think Minister Inga was holding Ms. Fay captive here? It's the perfect spot if you think about it. It's close to his private quarters which made it easy to keep an eye on his prisoner, and the courtyard is only open to the royal family so he had little fear of prying eyes. Plus, the tomb is normally locked, and only the royal family is allowed access. So that's why he picked his place. Don't fucking tell me. Got it. Got it. It's that dumb little bastard. I'll be your guide. 
I knew it. He's actually evil. He's the mastermind. He acts... He acts like he doesn't know anything, and he constantly tries to sell me things. And I haven't seen him since I've been back. I'll be. What the fuck? So that's why he picked this place. How long can Miss Faye been held captive? Yeah. We're gonna kill him! We're gonna kill that child! About six days. Six days? That long? I hope she ate! It appears she was severely weakened by her prolonged confinement. She passed out as soon as she was freed and is now in an IV drip at the hospital. No, Maya! How many times is she gonna get stuck in situations where she can't eat for like a week? She's been asleep ever since. Poor Miss Faye. I hope she gets better soon. Emma, do you mind if we start looking around? Sure, I've already got the okay. Knock yourselves out. Oh, and here. It's a diagram the police drew of the tomb. I thought I'd give you a copy to help your investigation along. One of those things is broken. Thank you. Tomb diagram added to the court record. Oh, and let me know if you need my forensic expertise. Don't you dare keep all the fun to yourselves, you hear? You don't need to worry about that. Besides, I'd hardly classify this as fun. I mean, I'm already very curious about the queen, but... There's gotta be more to it. Okay, turn. Oh! Then Kniffy! Guess this is where Inga collapsed when he died. Better take a closer look. Oh, he had a gun! Dude, what? Or a flare? What the hell? That thing has too many barrels! So the minister was armed, huh? Mm-hmm. That's a four-shot pistol. He had it for self-defense, apparently. But it won't be firing anything anytime soon. Huh? He was carrying a broken gun around for show. No, we recovered a bullet here, which means the gun probably broke as the minister fired its last round. Thing is, the gun's chambers are all empty. Yet that one bullet is the only bullet we could find. That is strange. Where did the other three go? Maybe Dirk ate the... Oh. See, okay, guys, I gotta say, it's things like this where I'm just like, Athena, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Like, maybe that's something Maya would say, but it's like, why do they feel the need to make Athena say, like, the dumbest shit? I, I, this, I, like, if I, like I said, if I wanted Maya as, like, my secondary character, I'd just rather have Maya than this. And that's the next time we see him. Just be ready for his predictably shocking answer. Like, it's, it's just like, really, guys, how can you defend that? You're like, oh, no, she, it's fine. It's like, no, why the, who says that? She's supposed to be smart, I thought. Which is why I'm ready for Great Ace Attorney, because apparently your assistant is actually, like, a helpful, coherent individual, and not just, like, there for random japes and gags and things. I wonder if this is Inga's cell phone. Okay. It should be. His fingerprints are all over it. Do you know if he talked with anyone recently? There were a few calls la logged between him and his underlings. They're all members of the secret police who are directly under the minister's control. You mean like spies? I don't think that's quite it. Athena, I would love it if you could add literally anything useful to this. I mean, uh, 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 this is supposed to be very serious, I thought. So this is the murder weapon. Emma, did you find any prints on it? Yep, and they were super clear. They belong to one Dirk Sadmadhi. That's not good. Are there any others? Oh, um, Beth, uh, Inga. Here, let me let me show you in the court record, uh, because I don't know if you know him. Inga. He already looks like a douche. He was the minister of justice, uh, and he warned Phoenix many times when Phoenix was winning cases here to not. He was like, you should probably stop while you're ahead. He was also trying to get his hands on the orb, and he locked Maya up for like a week because he was trying to get, he, he was holding her hostage. Um, but he's dead, and Dirk was also in the room with him, so they're blaming Dirk for the murder. 
And apparently Dirk's fingerprints are very clearly on this knife. But when Dirk entered, he's like, I got really dizzy and I don't really remember what happened. And he basically, when he came back to like, to being coherent, he was holding this bloody knife and, um, <coughs> and Inga was bleeding out dead on the floor. So yeah, now we have to prove daddy uh, innocent. There was one more print from another individual, but it was too smudged to identify. It's probably an old print from someone else who had handled the knife. Oh. And welcome back, Kit. I'm glad that you're unbanned. <clears throat> he also came back to me being like, Athena, please stop saying the dumbest shit. We're in the final chapter of the game. This is serious. Yet another piece of unhelpful info to add to our ever-growing pile. <sighs> <clears throat> They've already taken the body away. It's kind of sad how familiar I've become with body outlines. <clears throat> I have a photo of the body if you're interested. Thanks! I love dead body photos. He was stabbed right in the back. The poor guy was practically skewered. What's he wearing on his arms? Uh, those are the cuffs of justice. Seems to be a tradition here for the Minister of Justice to wear those forearm cuffs. They look like they're made of a thick fabric, so I guess they aren't for protection. Uh, it's a set of fake eyes. yeah. But yeah, one of the things she said, Beth, that just made me like shake my head, is you, you see the gun that uh, Inga had is a, um, you can't see it here, but it's a four chamber gun which is like one of those stupid guns that shoots four bullets at the same time. That's really unnecessary. But they're like, we only found one bullet. And then Athena's like, maybe Dirk ate the rest of them. And I'm like, who the fuck says that? Like, come on. Just if you're not going to say anything helpful, just don't talk. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't get people who are like super hardcore Athena stands because I I don't know, she's just kind of there. She does the Moon Matrix thing and stuff, but man, there's a lot of times she just says some things. Maybe they're for keeping his sleeves out of the way when he's handling documents. Yeah, that's probably their original purpose. But over the years, the reason for wearing them was probably forgotten. So now they're just one of many traditional things that people do without knowing why. Oh, I get it. Kind of like the way you roll up your sleeves, huh? or your psychology if we're going there. I happen to know why I started Thank You Very Much. Yeah, because of emotional scarring. Mega Himbo, but she has one brain cell and it's all, yeah, it's true. <clears throat> like Dirk is like your 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 everyman dad. Like he, I, I could see him grilling in like socks and sandals and being like, hey Apollo, come get your burger. And Apollo's like, I'm 25. I can make my own burger. Yeah, one of the statues is broken. Let's take a closer look. Oh, I see the bullet in Magatama's. Uh, yeah, I think. Did it come from the broken statue? Look, Apollo, there's another one. But the other statues only have one each. Yeah, please, Papa Dirk. Hey, you're right. Maybe the statue was special or something. Um, hey, look, there's the bullet. Why can't I there? I don't know why I like had to do the weird perspective shift. Just let me touch the bullet. Look, there's a bullet here. It's from the pistol the victim was carrying. My guess is he tried to shoot his attacker, but missed and the bullet ended up here. We've already determined the rifling marks to be a match to his gun. Rifling marks, aren't those? Oh ho, so I explain? No, 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 I know. The, the, every gun has different rifling marks. It's like the identification number of the gun. Next, please. No, 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 we're good. Hmm, lawyers, I think they're so smart. No, you've already told me like three times. You do you realize we can hear you? Okay, what's that shiny thing though? <clears throat> hmm, there's something shiny down here. What the, f what? That's a bloody brooch? A pendant? There's blood on it. I wonder who it belongs to. All we know is it's not the victims. No one in the royal family recognized it. Emma, did you lift any fingerprints from it? 
I did, but uh, I wasn't able to get a clean one. That's too bad. But the blood turned out to be the victim's. That means it must have fallen here in the course of the murder. Er, right, yeah, yeah, that's Apollo. Might be Dirks. I should ask him about it later. Pink butterfly pendant added to court record. Okay. Well, I got that. This thing's more splinter than statue now. The bullet from the victim's gun did a real number on it. Seems like something you'd get cursed for, you know? Minister of Genga's case, I'd say getting your ticket punched is curse enough. Yeah, but don't curses extend to the afterlife? You need to stop talking about what Nayuta says so seriously. Yeah, I'm perfectly capable of thinking for myself. Sometimes I wonder. I got a new external hard drive and you're working on downloading some stuff. I have, uh, apparently I've dropped like about 2,800 frames. But, uh, which isn't a lot, that's like 0.7%, but sometimes, like, I'll have slight drops, but I haven't really been having a whole lot of, like, issues lately. Yeah, it's, there's another one, okay, so. The other statues have, maybe it's special, okay, sorry. Maybe it really is special. Okay, oh, there's, uh, there's a chair? Miss Faye was apparently tied to this chair. Let's take a closer look. Look. You can still see her butt prints. We should try to cover every angle possible here. Slide to the touch screen or use the circle pad to look around carefully in this area. Whoa, there's blood on the fucking chair! But yeah, you she really is. Look, there's a blood stain on one of the chair legs. Really? Hey, you're right. I completely missed that. Let's move the chair so we can check under it. Blood stain. There's more blood under the chair leg. Hmm, I wonder what it's doing there. I have some luminol here. Why don't you do some testing around it? Are you guys ready for a luminol testing? Spray, spray, spray. What? Oh, blood. Look. I bet that somebody died in the chair and was dragged to the that. Oh, okay. I didn't spray over there, but whatever. The blood stain leads all the way to the sarcophagus. Emma, is this Minister Inga's blood? Hold on one second. Huh? That's strange. I didn't get a match. So then, whose blood is it? Dirk and Miss Faye weren't wounded as far as we know. And the blood's been wiped up by someone for some reason. Yeah, that's strange too. Mysterious blood stain added. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Right. There's a blood stain on the floor. It's already been mostly wiped up, but the stain leads all the way to the sarcophagus. I wonder whose blood it is. I don't know, bro. Poor Miss Faye. She must have been tied up to this chair. I can just imagine how much her backside must have hurt after sitting here for so long. Cool. It would have been torture for you, I bet. I mean, you don't know how to sit still. If by that you mean I like to stay active, then I have to agree with you. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, you're just crazy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just, I just, I didn't even notice the blood back there. Wow, it's covered in blood. The blood spatter this large, it must have gotten all over the killer too. Come to think of it. Whoop, oh yeah, well, there's blood on Dirk's clothes, but not like that much, I don't think. And the circumstantial evidence points to Dirk being the killer. That's what I'd conclude if I were a cop too. Why are things always so bleak for me? Uh, another intern kind of a... No, 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 she's actually been around since the original trilogy. Um, she was a child in one of the, uh... In one of the cases, but she was very interested in forensics. She actually gave a luminol testing kit to Phoenix. Because she was like, I borrowed this and let's do this! Or she paid for it with, like, her allowance or something. But no, she's been around for a long time, but now she's a full-fledged, um... 
like detective now or forensic scientist. So her dream has come true. It's full of ash. They must burn incense in here. So I was wondering, Apollo, did the ash come from the incense sticks that were burned in this? Or do people put their incense in after there was already ash in there to hold them up? Don't be silly, Athena. The answer's simple. The ash is the product of prayers from the countless visitors who came here. It's not a chicken or the egg kind of thing. Oh, that's an interesting take on it. So much more poetic than mine. I feel like it's also very wrong, but whatever. Let's check the right one. Maybe there's something in here. My guess would be this is an incense burner. Yeah, it's it. Hey, look, Apollo, there's something in the ashes. Let's see what it is. Oh, hello. That's another gemstone-y thing. It was testing your memory, that's it. Yeah, no, it was it was from a while ago. I believe she showed up in the second or third game? Maybe the, f I don't know. There's been a lot of cases, I forget, but she definitely showed up within the original trilogy as a, a child. Because obviously, the original trilogy was like nine or 10 years before this. Was that a gemstone? I wonder what it's doing in there. <laughs> I've got this one covered, Apollo. Would you like to hear my brilliant theory? No, it's probably not brilliant. Well, I guess it wouldn't do any harm. You know how people make wishes by throwing coins into a fountain? No. You know, on second thought, yeah, I'm good. That's the dumbest thing I've heard. Bye. Sure you don't need to hear my theory? I was just about to get to the good part. No, I already know what you're going to say. No. Let's just ask Emma. That'll be quicker. Excuse me, Emma. What's this gemstone doing here? Oh, that. Oh, it's one of his buttons. It's not a gem, it's a button. Oh, they had a very expensive one from the victim's jacket. Must have fallen off and gotten in there somehow. See, every puzzle has an answer, Athena, and it's not throwing gems into ashes. Well, I thought my idea was pretty good. Wait, what's with this soot? See here on the gemstone. Hey, you're right. Gemstone caked in soot. Okay, well, that's all that. I guess the one thing we haven't checked has been the big old painting. Unless... Phoenix is oldish, granted he's like, yeah, he's 35 now. Him and Edgeworth are both 35. Yeah. It looks like, cause uh, there's a time skip between um, Apollo Justice and the previous three games of like seven years, I believe. And there's like about a year in between each game or half a year between like the original trilogy. Something like that. Looks like the Holy Mother was painted here to watch over a Mars sarcophagus. So it's like this tomb is protected by the founder. That must be so reassuring to those she left behind. Only one problem. They didn't paint the eyes she needed to do said watching. Well, come to think of it, she doesn't have a mouth to smile down on the tomb with either. It's actually kind of creepy. I wonder if being washed over by something like that gives the queen nightmares. Hey, hey, keep that up and the founder just might come and watch over you too. Cool. What's up with this? That's a naked baby. A baby on a lotus blossom. That's one strange painting. Apparently that's part of a mural depicting the life and times of Queen Amara. Or he's ready to, yeah, exactly. You know, like a storyboard or something. Because there, there's literally like a seven year gap where Phoenix is not practicing law because he lost his attorney's badge. And, and that's why you have Apollo now and he's kind of using him as his protege to figure stuff out. And then he comes back into law in uh, Dual Destinies. But still like to me, Apollo is still just like Phoenix Light with more anxiety. So I'm just kind of like, I, I've never really warmed up a whole lot to him. But I don't know. I, I think it's just because I really like the original games and then they changed so much and there were so many like new faces that kept getting shoved at us that I was like, I don't know, guys. This is a lot. So that baby's supposed to be Amara. Yeah, this one depicts Amara preaching to the faithful. Hard to put into words, but I've never seen anything like it. Let's see, the next one is... Is that Dirk? Why does he have horns? 
My best guess is uh, it depicts the first time Lamar and Dirk met. So he's supposed to be some kind of demon who's seducing her. Well, he was successful since they got married after that. <laughs> well, true. Thanks, Dad, for seducing Mom. Row continues on the opposite wall. Okay, well, time to look at the opposite wall. Where you're doing the rocket ship murder? Yes! There's a painting up there, but I can't see it very well from here. Because in Dual Destinies, there's a DLC case, which is the case um, of Phoenix. Like, right after he gets his badge back, he has a case. Yeah. Is this supposed to be Amar channeling a spirit? Looks like the spirit of some country's sultan or something. And she seems to be conveying something to the retainers. She She's on fire! This must be Amara's assassination as allegedly carried out by Dirk. They really made him look evil. Yeah. Oh. This is the weirdest one of all. Is that supposed to be Dirk facing his punishment in the afterlife? Anyway, hmm? I guess that's the last one. I guess we're supposed to see this as a happy ending. Yeah, except nobody came out of this story happy. So I was trying to see if there was like one of these things missing. Um, it's a little Magatama. But they all look kind of the same. Well, what else is there to look at here? You do like the face. Yeah, they do make some pretty extreme faces. Sarcophagus is surrounded by a curtain. I bet someone could have hidden behind it. True, but it that's one of many places the Royal Guards checked after storming in. Wow, they were really thorough. Yes, well, apparently one of their members loves mystery novels. He peered into every nook and cranny with an almost frightening amount of gusto. And when he was done, he said, very interesting. It's like one of those locked room mysteries. Sounds like he's in the wrong line of work. I was about to say, if he had said like Zavari afterwards, I would have shit my pants. Cause fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, there's a table over here. I'm just like, man, there's so much stuff to look at. This is the grape juice Inga was drinking. He was probably nervous before his meeting with Dirk. So he drank grape juice? I'm not seeing the logic here. Mr. Wright told me all about it when he was hospitalized a few years back. He said grape juice has something in it that helps you relax. Isn't that like how prune juice makes you poop? Um, are you sure he's talking about regular, plain old grape juice? Because it sounds like he was talking about the fermented variety. No, he couldn't have meant that. I mean, we're talking about a medical facility. They wouldn't have allowed something like that in. R right, let's just leave it at that. Okay, well... What the hell else am I supposed to look at? This thing, the front side? So this is Amara sarcophagus. Let's take a closer look. Is there anything weird about it? Can I look inside? Hey, these curtains open, Apollo. Oh, there's a keyhole. That's one big sarcophagus. They say the mummy of Amar, the former queen, rests in there. Mummy, huh? Rats, it's locked. Why would you even try to open it? Hey, don't touch that. You mean we can't search inside of it? Not a chance. Besides, it's not something anyone would try to opening anyway. What if the real killer's hiding inside? Hey, anyone in there? Don't do that, you're gonna get us cursed! Okay. Cursed? The queen likely bears a grudge towards the living after such a violent, painful death. So no one dares touch the sarcophagus for fear of incurring her wrath. Uh, oh no, Apollo. What am I gonna do? I don't know, I guess you're just gonna be cursed. Don't look at me. In any case, the sarcophagus is, temper is temperature controlled. It's kept really cold to preserve the mummy. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, 
Who the heck do I know? So even if someone did decide to hide in it, they would eventually freeze to death. I see. Still, if they bundled up, I bet a person could hide in there for a little while. Okay, well... Um... Back. Like, are we done here? I don't know- what the hell else is there to look at at this place? Look, one of the statues is br I know! Yeah, but it's kind of hard to see from here. Let's check it out when we get a little closer. I get it, yeah, whatever. It's like a small army of monks, all neatly lined up. Looks like they're facing the sarcophagus in prayer. And if you look carefully, each one has a slightly different expression. I wonder if they used real people as models. And some are frowning, some are smiling. Hmm? There's one that looks like he's trying his hardest not to burst out laughing. Really? Hmm. I wonder why. Maybe it's like those times when things are so intense, you can't help but laugh. You know, like at funerals and stuff. They went through all that trouble in depicting that. Talk about going overboard. Okay, that's that was a lot of useless information. What the hell else? Yeah, um, I can't remember what it's called. But one of my friends was like, you should watch it. And I'm like, I don't. I don't know. I don't do anything like League of Legends related. It's not really my thing. Um, I mean, the music that they've made and stuff has been cool, but why? Oh. But I mean, I might check it out. I mean, uh, like their little shorts and stuff usually look pretty nice. Someone could have hid behind these curtains. Here, I'll go give it a try. Well, can you tell I'm hiding here? No, I can't tell at all. That's it. That's the perfect hiding place. We did it, Apollo. We solved the case. Sorry to burst your bubble, but uh, the Royal Guard searched the tomb high and low right after they stormed in. And they said no one else was in here besides Minister Inga, Dirk, and Miss Faye. Well, back to the drawing board, I guess. Uh... Okay. Boom, boom. Is that it? Do we? Okay, good. I was like, geez, there's so much fucking stuff to look at. I think we've covered just about everything. Maybe we should go over what we've learned so far. Mm, for starters, we're dealing with a locked room murder. But instead of the tomb being locked, it was being cordoned off by the Royal Guard. Oh, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Forgot. I always, sometimes I forget I have alerts. And after the murder, no one was found to be hiding inside. Right. In addition, we also know that Dirk's fingerprints were are all over the murder weapon. The curtain around the sarcophagus was drenched in the victim's blood on one side. The blood must have also gotten on the killer when they stabbed the minister from behind. Dirk had blood on him when the crime was first discovered. Unfortunately, he doesn't remember what happened. But he also doesn't have any blood on his hands, which is kind of weird. This is not good. So what we know now so far is, uh, things couldn't be worse for our case. And that's still an understatement somehow. Yeah, it's looking pretty grim. Uh, oh, uh, if you two are done here, I'll have to ask you to leave. Go on, scoot! Uh, something wrong, Emma? Why are you trying to give us the boot? It's just easier if you're not here when his ephemeral holiness arrives. Ah! Uh. Yep. Speak of the devil. P Prosecutor Sadmahi! Detective Skye, it seems you've spoken at length with these two lawyers. I do hope you've also kept an eye on them. Yes, of course. Like a hawk, they didn't touch a single thing. <laughs> Except for that chair that we moved, and that curtain we opened, and the sarcophagus we disturbed. Give a lawyer an inch and they'll take a mile. Never forget that. 
There's that look of distrust again. Fuck you. Hey, Nayuta. Do you really believe that Dirk's guilty? And are you seriously gonna prosecute this case? I mean, he's your father. You were once part of the Defiant Dragons, weren't you? We don't talk about that. Okay, well, bye, I guess. Hey, Nayuta, wait! I said wait, don't run away! Come on, Athena, after him. Huh? Oh, uh, right behind you. Okay. Okay, yeah, I get it. Now you would you stop already? What do you want? It's about Dirk. Would you please hear me out? I fail to see why I should. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wow. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, punch him in his dumb Nayuta face. Now, Yuta, are you afraid of what I might have to say? If not, then there's no harm in listening, right? Very well, speak. But make it quick. There's must, much I must do. Why does everything have to be so difficult with you? So I know you'll be prosecuting Dirk's case, but aren't there any other prosecutors in this country? Why does it have to be you? Her Eminence, Queen Garan, personally requested that I serve as prosecutor. She, she did? That would make it hard to say no. Her Eminence thinks highly of my prosecutor, prosecutorial skills. Still, she didn't have to ask you to handle a case against your own father. Be honest, you really don't want to do this, do you? Ah, uh, you speak of love and sentiment. Uh, I guess so. I do not deny such human emotions, but the law is the law, and placing personal feelings above it is beyond reprieve. No, you're just stupid. Fuck you. Do you disagree? Well, no, I don't disagree, but yes, you do. That's at literally every case, sir. Civilizations only exist due to the confines of the law. Without them, love and sentiment would lack the fertile soil they need to flourish. Do you disagree? No, but the law must be obeyed. The truth sits above all else, including personal feelings. Therefore, whether or not I am the son of the accused is of no consequence. It is that simple, or would you say otherwise? Ugh, fuck you. But, but come on, Apollo, tell him how wrong he is. Stop being a chode. But, but don't you... You know, wish it wasn't that way. Wow. Can everybody just stop with the fucking dot dot dots? Like, that's been so much conversation lately. I mean, I'm pretty, I, I'm sure it's happened in all the games quite a bit, but I think because this one is just so fucking long, I'm like, there's absolutely no need to keep adding that into here. It appears I've wasted my breath on you. And the winner is Prosecutor Sadmati. Hmm. Still spewing empty words devoid of meaning or consequence, I see. You putrid red pepper. Ugh! No, seriously, why are you such an asshole? I know I'm right, but did he have to be so eloquent about his point? It's like he's trying to cover something up with his pretty words. Apollo, I'd cut back on the debates with him if I were you. Just stick to the questions, like the ones you wanted to ask. Yeah, seriously, can we not just listen to him rattle on about how shitty he is? I'd like to just advance. Now, Yuta, I wanted to ask you about that hostage situation. Inga said he had someone dear to Dirk in the palm of his hand, and he was using that person, along with his hostage, as leverage in obtaining the orb. That's news to me. Well, that's what Inga said. Yeah, you can get your chances of getting it over by. Uh, <laughs> but I have something of yours. How should I slow insurance? You know, Dirk. What? I've got someone dear to you. Okay, cool. Man, I literally just saw this not that long ago. Oh man, how long is this gonna go on in these flashbacks? I got the impression Dirk had no choice but to follow Inga's demands after what he heard. So do you suppose this special person is? I wouldn't 
No. My bracelet's reacting! Hey, Nayuta, about what you just said, you're fucking lying. Ow! My bracelet is crushing my wrist! Youch, that really hurts! What the heck's going on? I'm wise to your tricks, you putrid pepper. That bracelet reacts to the anxieties of the people around you by squeezing your wrist. But now that I know how it works, I can make it tighten around your wrist wrist anytime I wish. Yeah, he's... I don't know, he just wants to be uh, in Naruto. That's all he had to say, he didn't have to be a dickbag. Consider this a warning. Ugh. I don't know how he did it, but this renders my bracelet useless. But you know what it doesn't render useless? Your fists. Punch him in his dumb face. White hair anime boy. Such devilry is powerless in the face of the Holy Mother's blessing. Uh, looks like your special powers won't work against Prosecutor Sadmati, Apollo. We'll have to try something else. <laughs> You're right. We'll just have to ask Dirk about this. It appears... You intend to go through with a trial you have no hope of winning. Grow up, Mr. Justice. We are no longer children, you and I. I'm not the one who needs to grow up, Nayuta. In case you didn't hear, I won my last case against none other than Mr. Wright. <sighs> you tell him, Apollo! Hmm. <laughs> Is he mad? I can never tell with him. Yeah, he's just kind of a jerk. This trial is different. Your foolishness will only earn you a death sentence for aiding and abetting a criminal. And those who aid criminals are doomed to be reborn in the next life as something lower than a bug or a vegetable. You would be lucky to return to this realm as a patch of mold. Mold? That's uh, pretty harsh. If you wish to avert such a fate, abandon this folly before it is too late. I don't care if I end up as a dollop of blue cheese dressing in my next life. Wow, that's a sentence. I'm going to defend Dirk in court. You fool. Know this. I intend to prosecute the accused with all my might, no matter what you say or do. Consider yourself forewarned. Now, if you will excuse me. Hmm. Prosecutor Sadmani knows his father will be publicly executed if he's found guilty. Yet he won't show even an ounce of mercy. Nayuta, is this the real you? Have you really changed? Do you really plan on sending Dirk to his death? Do you even hear me? Don't Dirk and I matter to you anymore? Dun dun dun! to be continued, but... Uh... You guys wanna know the best part about that? We're still not at the trial yet. We have two more parts of investigation to go through before we even get to the fucking trial. Like, Jesus, like we hadn't had enough information thrown at us. We're back at Temple Temple. Thankfully, I think this part is shorter. Maya passed out right after we found her in the tomb. Is he Phoenix Jr.'s brother? Uh, he's not his blood brother. He's his, um, like, adopted brother. Like, Nayuta is Dirk's actual son, but Apollo is Dirk's adopted son because uh, Apollo's dad died, like, when Apollo was a baby. She's been out cold ever since. We haven't been able to get a word out of her. The doctor said it's just exhaustion, but I can't help but worry. 
never know. There's too much information in this game. Hi, boy, friend. What is it right? Are you all right? Yeah, just thinking is all. Do you need a lap pillow? I'm glad you're here, Edgeworth. I'm sure he is. We wouldn't have gotten the permissions we have uh, without you. Well, I didn't come all the way to Karain to be useless. <clears throat> Speaking of the investigation, I received a few things from Detective Sky. These should prove to be useful to us as well. Inga's autopsy report added to the court record. Yay. Tomb diagram added to the court record. Yeah, I know. I remember these things. Tomb crime photo. Thanks for... Jeez, Edgeworth, you just have everything. I can't thank you enough, Edgeworth. Honestly, I'd have been so lost without him these past few days. <laughs> Is that so? You there, the barbed head lawyer, Phoenix Wright! Huh? It's my girl. That's not my girl. Who the fuck are you? Nobody calls me barbed head except for her. You're not allowed to use that name. Steal thy tongue, peasant. Uh, you're from the Garan Royal Guard, right? Please don't pull your sword at me. I am Lucky, Royal Guard member, and her eminence is Shoulder Rubber. Okay. That's very specific. And what does the royal shoulder rubber want with me? Wait, come to think of it, my shoulders are a bit stiff. Don't be absurd! I am here for one purpose only. I am to bring you before her eminence, Queen Garan, Grand Priestess of Karain. Will you comply? I feel like I have to. Uh, the queen? What could she want with me? Um, no, Edgeworth is Edgeworth has been a cool bro since like the first game, honestly. He just, there was a lot of repressed stuff and things going on. But ever since the first game, like he still, he still has like back and forths with Phoenix, but he's, he's a cool bro. Like he's the one that set up a plane to get everybody over here immediately. Like he still acts very aloof, but he is definitely Phoenix's bestie boyfriend. So there's, there's just no doubt about that. Why does he have to shout like that? Hmm, I can't fathom why Queen Garan would summon you, but I advise you to accept her eminence's gracious invitation. <sighs> Royal Shoulder Rubber Lucky, was it? Oh, I get it. His name is, I say Lucky, but it's, he's Lackey. His name is Lackey. He's a fucking Lackey. I fucking hate this game. How many puns can you throw in one game? I'm done with this game in like five more hours, maybe. Uh, may I join Mr. Wright in his audience with the queen? The name's Lucky. Oh, La apostrophe key. And all praise the omnip omnipotent queen Garan. Yeah, they're very good. For she has already foreseen and approved your request, Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth. You are bold to come with me. You mean to say Queen Garan sees our every move? Yes, indeed! Her eminence's spiritual power is immense! She can even see what's going on thousands of miles away! Oh, this, she sounds dangerous. Hmm, right. I fear I'll lose my hearing next if we don't hurry. Yeah, me too. Why would the queen herself summon me personally? What could she possibly be up to? I don't know, shenanigans? Okay, well, now you're, you know what? I'm totally cool with Edgeworth being my second here. Punch of the two, yeah, well, unfortunately not. This is the way Phoenix Wright works. You meet a lot of punchable characters, but you're not allowed to punch them. Which is dumb. You should be able to punch everybody. Oh, look at us! Oh, we're ready. Oh, hi, Rafa, hi, I know you. Ah, uh, the bobbed head lawyer has arrived. We bid you welcome. And you as well, Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth. Wow, she gets to use his name, but not mine. B thank you. This place is still as magnificent as last time. We have heard much about you, Barbed One. It seems your bluffs and tomfoolery tend to leave our court devastated in their wake. 
Uh, is that what people have been saying about me? <laughs> right, where are your manners? Your eminence, I am both humbled and delighted to be in your presence. Oh, um, your eminence, uh, glad to be here. Looks like you're doing well. Man, Phoenix. Hm. It is all right. There's no need to keep your head bowed all day. It is this. Finds every single person that's punchable and right hooks up. Yeah, exactly. It would be great. Yes, your eminence. Rafa! Rafa? Rafa's not looking too good. I guess even she can't bounce back from her father's murder. So, what can I do for you, your eminence? We wish to question you about something related to the case at hand. Perfect, because I have a few questions of my own. We fear we do not fully comprehend what has transpired. So it is... It is that we summoned you here to further elucidate the situation. It is true that our husband Inga... Or is it true that our husband Inga has been seeking the Founder's Orb? That's right, he wanted to trade a hostage for it. That's why he abducted Maya Fey. Insolent fool! Katong! Ah, that's a lie! A lie, I say! Father would have never done such a thing! But, but he did abduct Maya. That much is... I will not stand here and listen to this nonsense! You will pay for this, you... you... Katong, Katong, Katong... Ow! Please, your benevolence! That is quite enough, Rafa. We understand your feelings, but we fear he speaks the truth. For we believe we know why your father would do such a thing. Okay, so that Katonking was me. Me being smacked by her stick. Huh? We believe he was seeking the orb as a means of obtaining spiritual power. And with it, he intended to usurp the throne. Uh, m mother what do you mean, Your Eminence? Inga was planning a coup for which he was dissatisfied with the current administration. And his secret police was the primary instrument of his treason. Secret police? They came up during the High Priest's murder trial, too. An elite force under the direct command of the Minister of Justice, in this case, Inga. The man who was hunting down rebels as Lady Kira was a member of that group. Indeed. Inga turned that once proud force into his own private army, and he intended on using them to launch a coup and assassinate us. So this dad was understanding when you're right. Yeah, probably. She does really like yelling at Phoenix. So your eminence had no control over them? As much as it shames us to admit it, Korain is not the unified realm it would appear to be. We are truly sorry you had to witness the dirty underbelly of our kingdom. How could father? But know that Inga could not have become king simply through our assassination. For in Korain, only those who possess spiritual power may sit on the throne. I see. That explains why Minister Inga was seeking the Founder's Orb. Barbed One, do you recall the man known as... Peace, love, and understanding? God, it's so, it's peace, love, and understanding. Oh, fuck that rocker, bro. Uh, what about him? He too was involved in Inga's machinations. Inga had brought, bought his own, or his loyalty, ordered the man to steal the orb and cover up the theft. And then he sent the orb to the US for Dr. Buff to study. It's all coming together. Dirk the criminal. The capture of the infamous villain Dirk, Saad Mahdi, it may prove to be the crowning achievement of our reign. Now, perhaps, the kingdom may return to the peace it once knew. Change of pace and not total douchebag. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely a lot better overall. Oh, what a joyous day. Hail to our eminence, Queen Garan, Grand Priestess of Karain! Her eminence's spiritual power invoked a blessing straight from the Holy Mother! Man, you guys sound pretty crazy. I can see how her cronies would be elated at the prospect, but the Queen herself seems almost giddy for someone whose husband was just murdered. Father, 
Rafa, on the other hand, doesn't appear to be taking it so well. About that incident that occurred 23 years ago, the one in which Dirk was accused of assassinating Queen Amara. Yes, he set fire to her private residence, burning my dear sister alive. Murder by arson. Only a demon would be capable of such a heinous crime. I don't know, like you, it seems like? But that event also set the stage for you to become queen. What did you do before you were crowned queen, your eminence? As a part of our training to be queen, we served in many different governmental positions, the longest of which was as the previous Minister of Justice. It was in that position that we were best able to support our elder sister, Queen Amara. Interesting. That's her husband's position, or at least it was. And when you ascended to the throne, you passed the Defense Culpability Act. Talk about that. Those who would support criminals will be deemed just as guilty. What prompted you to pass something like the Defense Culpability Act, your eminence? The assassination of our dear sister, Amara. When the infamous villain Dirk Sadmadhi was apprehended, he announced that he would act as his own lawyer. That's right, Dirk used to be a lawyer. Dirk had, Dirk had been an extraordinarily talented lawyer and highly esteemed by the people. But he falsified evidence in an attempt to win his own case. I don't know, I feel like that you fucked something up. But yeah, okay. Minister of Justice like defense from the dark arts in Harry Potter, maybe. I feel like she actually uh, had her own like cronies doing things, but I don't know, we'll see. Let's see. But when the truth of his fabrications and the assassination of the queen came to light, the people were devastated and trust in the legal system plummeted. Mm, Edgeworth is like, wow, that sounds fucking... Now, why does that sound so familiar? Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> in Karain, the Hall of Justice is a sacred space where victims receive their last rites. Should the people lose their faith in it, the kingdom would be shaken to its very core. That is why the Defense Culpability Act had to be passed. It was the only way to keep our legal system from tumbling into the abyss. So that's how you sought to eliminate the use of perjury and phony evidence, huh? But that law is what made lawyers go extinct in your kingdom. Now there's no one left to defend those who have been accused. We see how you could take issue with such a reality. However, we have not banned the act of lawyering itself. Those who are confident they can prove their client's innocence are always welcome to mount a vigorous defense, as you yourself have shown. Well, I guess so, but, uh, that lawyers, there's the possibility of false charges being filed and prosecuted. So long as our prosecutors continue to run nothing but perfect trials, there needn't be fear of such nefarious dealings. Do you disagree? No, because that just means that they everybody is it's 100% incarceration, or in this case, death rate, which is bad. Pretty sure Dolores Umbridge, yeah, just better fact. This is true. Yeah, perfect prosecutors in their perfect trials, huh? Sounds dumb. Let's not get started down this path. Yeah, Edgeworth is like, come on, man. Let's just keep it going. We'll take care of this later. Furthermore, here in Corain, we have the divination seance. And so it is we no longer need for lo- Ooh. Yeah, we no longer need lawyers, for the dead do not lie. Well, in the short time I've been here, I've beaten back false charges twice. And I've found that cases built on the memories of the dead are less than perfect. So yes, I do take issue with the Defense Culpability Act, to say the least. Oh ho ho, such relentless rhetoric. Your reputation precedes you, barbed one. It feels as if our, we ourselves were being cross-examined. Oh, uh, no, that wasn't my intention. It is true that some feel that the Defense Culpability Act is a necessary evil at best, but it is a small sacrifice upon which the peace of our kingdom has been forged. If you consider executing innocent lawyers a small sacrifice, then sure. 
The fact is that following its passage, the crime rate here in Karain dropped markedly. Therefore, we have no regrets concerning the enactment of the Defense Culpability Act. Really, none at all. Right, why don't we leave it at that? This isn't a court of law, after all. Y yeah. About the Founder's Orb that was to be exchanged for the hostage, it went missing after the murder. Would you happen to know anything about that? It's missing. I'm sure Dirk had it when he went into the tomb. If it wasn't there, I have no idea where it could be, Your Eminence. In that case, then perhaps Dirk has hidden it somewhere. Incidentally, there is a matter of that horned youth you were with. Oh, you must mean Apollo. From his odd hairstyle, may we assume him to be a relative? Perhaps your younger brother? No, 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 you got it all wrong. He's Dirk's son. Well, more like foster son. They're not actually related by blood. <laughs> Dirk's Royal Guard? Your Eminence! Uh, hmm? Uh, what's she whispering in that one guy's ear? Well, thank you for your time. The two of you may go now. Yes, Your Eminence. We'll be on our way. Okay, now what? Apollo and Athena have the murder scene investigation covered, so... Yeah, I think she's probably going to try to apprehend Apollo now, because she's like, Ah, oh, he's in cahoots! Maybe we should go speak with the locals over at the bazaar. Okay, well, goodbye. To the bazaar. I don't know why the bazaar... We've been to the bazaar before. Come on. Arr! Well... What? Was that a lion? Oh, that uh, caught me by surprise, too, when I first heard it. It's the cry of a local bird known as a warbod. A bird? That sounds like that? Sounds more like a beast than a bird, if you ask me. It's a form of mimicry, you know, to help protect them against predators and stuff. Yes, well, can't say I've heard one quite like that before. New things every day, Edgy. Yeah, it's basically a parrot. Probably just bigger. Oh, it's more than unusual. It's endangered. It's extremely rare to encounter one in the wild these days. If it's so rare, then what's one doing out here in the middle of the bazaar? You got me. Maybe it's got something to do with it being their national bird. Da! Was that a gunshot? Ha 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 ha! Startle ya, PW! Oh, it's you. Hello. What, what was that, Dats? Dats, please. I don't need 15 seconds of you posing. I just want to fucking get on with it. The Defiant Dragon's newest weapon. I call these puppy Dragon Snot Snaps. Uh-huh. And you need those. Why? Because our hard work is starting to pay off. Thanks to our TV signal hijacking and stuff, more and more people are joining our cause. But on account of that, the regime's been cracking down on us real tough-like. Yeah, there's been a lot going on lately. You can say that again. I mean, what with the high priest fake murder slash suicide. People are calling it the DCA tragedy and it's causing a real public uproar. Hopefully this means Trust's death won't be in vain after all. So, uh, how exactly is a handful of firecrackers gonna be of any help to you guys anyway? Simple. Uh, first, uh, supply them to our fellow rebels. Then we use them as a diversion when we need to shake Garon's goons. Huh? Like this! Whoa! Will you cut that out? I'm not with the regime, and I'm not chasing you! <laughs> Your reaction, that was priceless, PW! <laughs> I guess I startled that war bod, too. It's a miracle no one's trying to arrest him while he's too busy laughing. You there. It's Rafa! Hi, Rafa. Oh. You are one of those insurgents, are you not? Yikes! Take that! Wow. Okay, eek. Dats is, I don't know about Dats. 
And he's gone. Those firecrackers are more useful than I thought. Barbed head. Uh, your benevolence. What can I do for you? I... I wanted to speak with you. About what my mother said. I do not believe a word of it. My father could not have been planning a coup. Well, I can understand why you'd feel like that, but, uh... It was a setup! Someone must have been plotting against him. Like your mother, maybe? You want some of those DSS? I mean, yeah, those are pretty loud. Uh, and how do you know that? I just do, because the Holy Mother guides me. And as the royal priestess, I must uncover the truth for all to see. Hmm, maybe this is just how Rafa expresses her sense of duty. You're investigating this matter, are you not? Then rejoice, for I shall accompany you and bestow upon you the royal priestess's wisdom. <laughs> That's the best news I've heard all day, your benevolence. No one would dare get in our way with Rafa by our side. We humbly accept your offer, don't we, Edgeworth? As you wish, right? That's right. Excellent, then let us begin with my father's private quarters. We should be able to find some clues in there. I shall expose this false charge for what it is, if it is the last thing I do. Could it be? Is the reason she's so defensive about Inga because she's a daddy's girl? Barbed head, let us not waste any time. My father's private quarters are located within the royal residence. Now follow me. Plap, 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 plap. Wait, uh, she's sure in a hurry. Right, the minister's private quarters may hold evidence related to his murder as well. Yeah, well, maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. Rafa's awfully fired up. I hope she'll be ready for the truth we find. After all, it's hard to believe that Inga was not in full control of the whole affair. Hmm. The royal residence. We are here. Now, if we could figure out which of these buildings houses Inga's private quarters, that's where we'll find Rafa. Well, now I can finally examine this place. There are footprints coming from this residence. Too bad they're just kind of end. I wonder who made them and where they went. Now that's what I call an extravagant exterior. Is this where Inga's private quarters are? Watch your step right. That urn's been knocked over, spilling water everywhere. Yeah, the ground's soaked. I wonder who did this. Uh... Hmm? Um, I made all the stuff of my, like, well, I put the stuff together myself. Uh, the only stuff that's not, like, mine particularly is, like, the artwork. It's kind of like my, like, like, my, the, 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 the avatar that I use, like, for my, um, YouTube and stuff like that. And the emotes, like, most, uh, most of the hand-related ones, or all of the hand-related ones, those ones were made by my friend, uh, Ice Mouth Magic, who does really good art stuff. Um, but, like, the other merch stuff, uh... I kind of like tried to work like I want to be able to make stuff by myself. Just my artistic skills are not fantastic. Um, but yeah, my friend Ice Milk Magic is the one who did like my emote design and stuff. Let me go ahead and. She hasn't really been doing a whole lot of uh, like. I think she might be. Oh, yeah, her commission's open November 3rd. Um, but yeah, she does a lot of good art and stuff. Boom. That's her Twitter page. Um, but yeah. So any art you see on there other than like the nudes, that was actually made by a friend of mine um, a while back. Um, and I, the, the, the new design of it is something that I, I kind of like retraced over it because I only had the original file, uh, but the emote and stuff, yeah. The person who started doing it had to stop because life got in the way, so that was scrapped. Yeah. Hmm? 
I think someone's in here. Father. Is that Princess Rafa? There are still so many things I wish to tell you. She always puts on such a brave face. Like, I'm not crediting the person who made uh, the nudes, because they didn't really make it for profit or anything anyway, and uh, that none of their socials or anything exist anymore. I'm honestly not even sure if they are still alive or not, so I just... That's like the one thing that I, I, I have left from that. Can't help but think of Trucy. But yeah, that was my very first emote and everything, so it's like the one that will stay. Like, no matter what. Father? Yeah, that is Rafa in there. Uh, Princess Rafa? Are you in there? Ah! Did you just a moment? I'll be right out. I see you are finally here. But let us commence our investigation, shall we? Um, your benevolence? Yes, long live the nudes. Because I tried doing a few designs that involved like a noodle bowl, but it was really hard to get the words in there and the bowl in a way that like made it legible. And then she was like, she threw that together. And I was like, that is amazing. And everybody has always like loved it. You should rest for a minute first. <gasps> um, you were eavesdropping on me, weren't you? I, n you were crying very loudly. It's not my fault. I was just here. Um, no, I mean, yes. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. Ugh. It wasn't like I was spying on you or anything. You stupid, stupid barbed head. Katonk. Ouch. Stop hitting me with your stick. You could have feigned ignorance. Yeah, Edgeworth knows what's up. It's as if your brain to mouth filter shuts off the moment you step out of the courtroom. Ugh, I'm not that bad, Edgeworth. Yeah, I, I used that before and I enjoyed it. And then I used Krita, which is another free software. Uh, but I, I am paying for uh, Clip Studio Pro, um, which I need to get better. Because the thing is, I, I I hate making emotes and them like being really pixely or shitty. So uh, like the cheese emote I made on there. And I think that that shows out. OK, it's actually with a K. Um, like, let's see where. Wait, where are my emotes? Why is it showing those ones first? Like, like, I made this cheese one, and it's not pixely at all. So I'm like, oh, okay. Granted, it's literally just a picture of cheese with, like, a little swirly thingy around it, but it works. It's fine. Anyway, what took you so long? I thought you would never get here. You have a lot of nerve keeping the crown princess waiting. Oh, um, sorry? This was my father's residence. I've already unlocked it, so you can go in. Literal cheese in the emoji. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and be careful. Some dingbat dog got in the courtyard and spilled water over there. A dingbat dog? That's right. The yappy mutt spilled a whole urn's worth. I wonder how I got into this area. You know what it looked like? Hmm. I have better things to do than memorize some stray dog. What some stray dog looks like? It's Shadow. Anyway, it's not worth talking about. Let's search my father's room, shall we? I really hope she's all right. I've already searched here, but it never hurts to take another look around. This overturned urn spilled its water all over the place. It was already knocked over when we got here earlier this afternoon, so we can rule out Athena at least. Right. What does it say about you if your first suspect is your own subordinate? It's not me, it's her, okay? Okay, well, now let's go ahead and go into Inga's private quarters. It's probably shoot. Yeah, probably. May 18th. Garan Palace, Inga's private quarters. What a mess. You can definitely tell a guy used to live in this room. I guess Inga had at least that much in common. No, Inga and I, wow. Oh, sorry. 
The staff keeps getting in the way. Okay, why does your staff keep getting in the way? Yeah, not my fault. Exactly. Mm. Oh! Huh? Where's Nana? Normally... Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 is Nana the killer? Is, is Nana the, is Nana the horrible person? Oh, cause yeah, she called for Nana, but Nana's not, what is happening? Nana? That's right, Nana is, Nana is what? Oh, well, you barbed head, come, hold this staff for me. But why me? Just take it, it's too heavy, and I am tired of holding it. Ugh, how does Nana put up with this day in and day out? Uh, I'll just set it over here for now. Okay, ah, uh, that's a syringe? Was he diabetic? It's a syringe and a vial. Those were for my father's back pain. He said it really helped when the pain was particularly unbearable. It was that bad, huh? Back pain? He must have been injecting some sort of painkiller directly into his back then. Wow, and then he got stabbed in the back. Wow. Yes, my father said his back pain could knock him off his feet. I know the feeling. I've experienced some pretty severe back, uh, I've, yeah, pretty severe back pain of my own, like when I was praying. Well, we can't have you throwing your back out in court, so why don't you take a vial? Oh, uh, no thanks. I hear your body builds up a tolerance to that sort of thing. Medication Inga used for back pain, said to make the pain disappear. I thought you didn't want them. I'm going straight to a chiropractor as soon as I get home. Uh, what is that? Herb grinder? Was he smoking the weeds? Oh, it's an ink pad. This is most likely a special ink pad for the Justice Minister's stamp. His insignia is carved big and bold right on the lid. Talk about overkill. Did he really have to mark everything he owned? There are some muddy shoe prints here. Come to think of it. There was some spilled water by the entrance. Somebody must have stepped in it before coming in here. They're already dry. That means they're at least several hours old. Then someone must have been in here today in the early afternoon. Is it super long? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe he just... You know what? I try not to think about that too much. For our servants clean this room each day. Here in Korain, we have a saying. Leave not today's untidiness to the morrow. Mine is, why clean up today what you can leave for tomorrow? Yeah, Phoenix, we noticed. Your place is a fucking trash pit. What is that? Bug spray? What's this? Jesus Lebel? Never thought I'd see this brand again. Oh no, it was from the... <laughs> that one French shop. It appears to be a sample of some sort of spray-on hair color. Wait, no, no, it's hair color. Who had the hair color jet black? I wonder if Inga was going gray. Here, Edgeworth, maybe you can use it. Oh, wait, really? I like my natural hair color just fine. Thank you very much. Wow, don't tease him like that, right? It's rude. You got your gray stripe in your pokey head. Wow, that's one gaudy sculpture. My father sculpted it himself from a block of solid gold. What? Why does it not surprise me that he was also a narcissist? <laughs> it's pretty detailed. He even included that personal stamp of his. Hey, the stamp's a little loose. Uh... <gasps> what? Ah! Oh yeah, because it's not a cigar, it's a stamp. Look, there's a secret safe inside. Oh my, to think such a thing was here all this time. Rats, looks like we'll need the combination to get in. This chair looks like it was modeled after Inga's suit jacket. Hmm, the backrest even has those fancy buttons of his. I imagine they make the chair awfully uncomfortable to sit on. Actually, they serve to massage the pressure points on his back. My father suffered from terrible back pain, you see. I wonder if it really works. Well, you can't sit on it, because there's that. 
This notepad must have belonged to Inga. Let's see. Inga's notes. Nana, purple hat, glasses, diamond-shaped tattoo on forehead. Dirk, long hair, eye patch, blue clothes. Phoenix Wright, spiky hair, blue clothes, pink necktie. That's strange. These appear to be the notes detailing people's most prominent characteristics. Spiky hair, of course. Hey, there's even some stuff about me in here. Why would he bother doing this? Hmm, I am afraid even I can't answer that. Whatever the reason, it's giving me a case of the heebie-jeebies. Hmm, it's as if he was taking down descriptions of people over the phone. That's what it reminds me of anyway. What a brilliant deduction, one fitting of a chief prosecutor such as yourself. I commend you. What about me? Hmm, that's a uh, high praise coming from you, your benevolence. Why don't I get praised? Edgeworth's right, they do look like dictation notes, but uh, I don't know. I mean, why bother describing Nana? We must have seen every day. Unless that wasn't really Inga. Oh, oh. His desk is crammed full of documents. Hmm, they appear to be paperwork for executions. But, but for this many cases? Indeed, something is rotten in the kingdom of Korain. Hmm? This one dates back to five years ago. Something tells me he simply kept putting them off because he hated doing paperwork. Okay, um... Oh! Oh, it's just the bed. That's one luxurious and comfy looking bed. I've slept on nothing but hard floors since coming to Korain. Can't wait to sleep in a nice soft bed again. Then take it, it's yours if you wish. We'll have to clean this room out anyway, now that my father's gone. Uh, but don't you want to keep these things as a memento of your father? Besides, I, I don't need his spirit haunting me late at night. Do you suppose if I slept on it, I could see my father once more? P Princess Rafa, I honestly don't know how to answer that. Oh, that's heavy. Um. Models? Can't, can't do anything about those. I guess I'll check the safe for now. Can't open this without the combination, but I doubt Princess Rafa would know it. Well, if we can't open it, we can't open it. For now, let's continue our investigation and come back to this dilemma later. Check that. Check the bed. Check the bust. Uh, what the hell do you want me to do? God, sometimes I'm just like, what the fuck game? I need to talk to her? Oh, I guess we should talk to her. Barbed head, I, the royal priestess of Korain, shall share my thoughts on the abduction. You do like checking bus? Damn. You will? <sighs> Listen carefully, for such opportunities do not come often. Uh, yes, of course. We'd be grateful to hear anything you'd like to share. My father was very likely seeking to obtain the Founder's Orb. <clears throat> but it was not for the purpose of a coup d'etat. It was all for my sake. Uh, for your sake? The Founder's Orb is capable of bestowing great spiritual powers. My father truly believed that. And he wanted that power to be mine. I haven't finished my training and I still can't channel spirits. He was doing it for me. Right, I see. Well, do you understand why he did it now? I do, but uh, it doesn't change the fact that Minister Inga was a kidnapper. Ah! But I guess you don't believe he is, do you? No. Oh. New information is sure to surface upon further investigation. 
Suffice to say, he did this all for me. End of story. Was he really trying to obtain the orb for Rafa? Somehow, I doubt it. Speaking of powers, I wonder if Rafa will be performing the divination seance tomorrow. I should probably ask her about that. Nah, let's ask about Nana. Your benevolence, I noticed Nana isn't with you today. Oh, I know not where she has gone. I have not spoken with her since this morning. I assume she must be quite busy today. I did catch a glimpse of her a little after two o'clock. I tried calling out to her, but she went off somewhere again. A little after two, that's about an hour before the murder. Indeed, of all the times for this to happen, she normally comes to me the moment I call her name. I know it's hard to believe, but even nannies have lives, you know? Your inability to find her even after the murder is slightly alarming. I wonder if her absence is related to today's incident somehow. <laughs> Do you think she was unwittingly caught up in them? Who knows? This is going to touch you. Oh, wow. At the very least, I don't think she was at the crime scene. Nina. I hope she's all right. Rafa seems really worried for Nana. I wonder why. Tomorrow's seance. I take it you'll be conducting tomorrow's divination seance? Who else if not I? Good point. The thing is, uh, divination seances are all about the victim's experiences in their final moments. So tomorrow, Hmm, Rafa will experience her own father's death exactly as it happened. Hmm, that sounds not great. That's more than anyone should ever have to deal with. Do you really have to go through with the seance tomorrow? There's really no one else? What about just calling the whole thing off? It's not as if... It's not as if I'm doing this because I want to. N no? Ah! N never mind, I misspoke. The divination seance is a very important duty of the royal priestess, and it's one I intend to fulfill. There's that word, duty. So I needed to turn on my office lights because it's starting to sundown. Yeah. Your benevolence, as Grand Princess, you're destined to rule the kingdom one day, blah, blah, blah. That means there will be many things that you alone must determine. Uh, yeah, how to keep your people happy and what true, what is true and false. What, what world you must play? Okay, cool. Drawing the divination sands is the duty of the priestess, but duty or not, it's a heavy burden for someone so young. Even worse, she'll be forced to watch her father's murder! Will it be a weight too heavy for her to bear? Uh, okay, Nana and Rafa. Oops, I went backwards. Uh, your benevolence, has Nana served you long? Yes, she has been at my beck and call for as long as I remember. I have heard she even cared for me as an infant, right down to changing my diapers. Your diapers? It almost sounds like she could be your mother. Indeed, but that is a simple fact of life when your mother is busy being queen. Nana takes care of my every need. She is my teacher in all things as well. Rafa's pool of knowledge seems rather lopsided in some respects. Could that be the result of Nana's teachings? Nana, could it be that my trusted attendant has come to dislike me? Now that I think about it, uh, perhaps I've been acting rather spoiled as of late. Oh, I'm sure she'll be back. Yes, I suppose Nana would never truly abandon me. Upon her return, I will do something nice for her. Perhaps she'd like a shoulder massage. You can play fetch now? Oh! Uh, are you slowly becoming more, uh... Does the dog have a friendliness meter? Are you are you are you just getting very friendly with dog? Nobody's died though, right? You're doing good. Upon her return, I will do yeah, so on my side. And yet I can't shake the feeling that Nana's connected in this case to this case in some way. Okay, cool. We talked about all that. I'm really beginning to wonder what's inside that safe. 
Any idea what the combination might be, your benevolence? None whatsoever. Looks like a four-digit combo lock, so maybe it's a date. But it's probably not anything that would be easy to guess. Well, let's try some dates and see what happens. Wonder what date. Rafa's birthday, obviously. Everyone's still alive? Very good. When's your birthday, your benevolence? Hmm, you are wasting your time. It could not possibly be my birthday. Ah, come on, it's worth a shot. Fine, it's December 24th. Christmas Eve? Well, let's give it a try. He just loves you, aww. One, two, two, four. Ah! It, it opened! It did? Yep, and it looks like the bottom safe was a fake. Something meant to be mis something meant to mislead would be thieves, no doubt. Still, it was rendered quite ineffective by the use of such easily guessed combination. Well, why, Father? Why my birth date? I don't know, because he actually cared about you. Okay, well, let's look inside your dad's bust. Okay, let's see what's in here. Hmm? This looks like a letter or something. Let's see. Dear Father, I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. You're always so kind, and I love you very much. I hope you live to be a hundred years old. Love, Rafe. Ah, oh, that's adorable! <laughs> uh, I wrote this to my father when I was eight years old. F father why would you hold on to something so childish and stupid? There are some other papers in here. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Got an assassination plan! Once I poison the queen, the throne will be mine. The spiritual power I obtained from the treasure will back up my claim. In the meantime, the secret police are to keep a close watch on the Garan. Oh. This is the plan for his coup d'etat! What? what? Give me that! I... I don't understand. It seems Justice Minister Inga was plotting the assassination of the Queen. It means the world to him. Yeah, it does. It... Th this can't be true. Father would never harm Mother. Poor Rafa. This has... Has to come as a terrible shock. Wait, what's this? There's a photo in here, too. Hmm. It's of a woman and a baby. I wonder who they are. On the far left, there's a law book with the mark of the Defiant Dragon branded on it. Whoa! Whoa! What if... Is Rafa Dirk's... Daughter? Wait, th that's... Your benevolence? How... No, wait, there's no possible way, because she died a, a while back. Never mind. Sorry, she's only 14. I'm, I'm jumping to conclusions. I'm sorry, everyone, but yeah, that wasn't... Hmm. Hmm, wait a second. There's there's no way, because she's been dead for a while. Thud. P Princess Rafa? Well, actually, no, because... Well, how... God, I'm so confused. Who was that lady? Yeah, because he's 20... He's 25. And she's 14. Nana. What if she never well no, I was like, what if she never died? But she wouldn't look that old. I am so confused, guys. But Yeah, because the queen has different colored hair. Who the fuck? What is happening? Who what is this? Well, excuse me. What is going on? She's looking incredibly pale. Uh, your benevolence, are you all right? All right? How can I be all right? Huh? All that I have believed. It was all lies. I'm afraid I don't follow. What the heck is she talking about? Um, can I ask who this woman in... Yeah, who the woman is in this picture? How, how should I know? It seems I didn't know anything that was going on. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get much more out of her while she's like this. 
Ingus safe. Shows a woman, a baby, and a law book that has a mark branded on it. Mother? Hmm? I must ask my mother about the secret she is hiding. Uh, what secret? I must go. Goodbye. Wait, how long- what? Ah, because of 20, 23. Uh. Hmm, wait, what was that all about? It's like her mind was off somewhere else. Yeah, we should write. It appears this photo really upset her. Wonder who the lady in this picture is. Stop! Shado, come back here! <laughs> wait, that sounds like. I'll be in Shadow. That's odd. Commoners aren't normally allowed in this area. I wonder what's afoot. Well, I guess we're going out. It's we all close. It's fine. Oh gosh, guys! I just want it. Can I get to the trial? No! Ah! Edgeworth! No! Edgeworth! Uh, why are you hanging on his cravat? I hope one of you has a good explanation for this. Ah! I I'm so sorry! Uh, hi, Albi. No! Shadow! Bad dog! Leave the man's frilly thingamajig alone! Shadow, leave him alone. If you would kindly detach your dog from my cravat... R right away, sir. Uh, just hold still and, uh. And. Her! Her! No, don't rip it! No, stop pulling like that. You'll only stretch the fabric. Come on, Shadow. Let go of his uh, Krava Chimacolin. Hmm, this isn't working. I'll just have to pull harder then. No! Uh, one? No, wait, what are you? Three! Arr! Come on! Okay, well, yeah, this is... Ah! I need air! Edgeworth! Edgeworth, are you okay? Well, at least his cravat is okay. <sighs> Were you trying to kill me? I'm really sorry, mister. My dog has a habit of attacking frilly things like that. Maybe for his sake, he should stick to more traditional targets like cars or his tail. What's worse, he snuck in here again today and stole some weird looking hat. I don't know what to do anymore. Bad dog, you're a very bad dog. Wait a second, I've seen that hat before. Frilly hat. I'll be, could I see that hat again? Sure. Wait, isn't this Nana's hat? This is, yeah, it's Nana's hat. But I thought she disappeared. Shadow swiped it from someone. Um, I'll be, how exactly did Shadow get this? Allow me to explain. It, it all started while we were on a walk through the bazaar today, when suddenly Dad's popped out of a manhole. Oh, did he light one of his firecrackers? Oh, yeah. Whoa! The fangs of the Defiant Dragons! Oh god, why do we have to watch a stupid intro every time? Ah, I just wanna fucking... That's Arbol is here! Yeah, cool! Say you wanna join our cause, kid? I'm not even bothering anymore, huh? Yeah, no. Naturally, I was super startled by that weirdo's sudden appearance! Back, dog of Garon regime. Huh? Oh, but this is my dog. Shut up. What? That, that was Dats's line. Fine, dragon seeker, dire and snot snap. To chew. Bang. Whoa! Oof. And then he laughs. Wow. Look on your face. That was classic. Why the? F I don't care about any of this. Yeah, of course he ran off because they don't like fireworks. Ah, Shadow, come back here. Ha ha ha. Okay, cool. Seriously, like, guys, I don't even know how long I've been playing this game, but it feels like it's been way too long. Like, it took six hours for the first half of this episode. 
Just let me continue the game. It happened right around 2 p.m. if I remember correctly. Minus Gumshoe, Gumshoe is too cool for chat. Yeah, there were a lot of children in this game. But, uh, well, it seems like more of the later ones, there's a lot more kids. Why does that guy look like a more annoying Larry? I don't know if anybody can really be more annoying than Larry, but Dats is getting more annoying the more I deal with him. Not even gonna pretend I know what Dats was trying to do. I chased right after Shadow, and when I finally caught up to him here in the palace courtyard, he had this in his mouth. 2 p.m., hmm? That's about an hour before the minister's death. Nana supposedly went missing after the murder, but this would place her here at the palace around 2. I'll be statement added to the court record. Cool, more information. Actually, I just remembered I saw something pretty amazing around that time too. Something amazing? Oh, what now? So I'll be, what was it that you saw that was so amazing? I saw her eminence, Queen Garon channeling a spirit. Is it really that big of a deal to see her channeling someone? You bet it is. Commoners are never allowed to behold the sacred rite. Oh, can you tell me more? Of course, I'm always happy to explain. Um, I believe it was around 2.10 p.m. today. I got lost in the palace grounds or looking for Shadow. How did you get lost in the palace? You're not supposed to be there. Oh, what is this place? It gives me the creeps. Could Shadow have gone? <laughs> My surgeon took a peek into a small room and that's when I saw Queen Garan. She was channeling a spirit for a neighboring kingdom's king. I saw her transform right before my eyes. Okay, cool. Yeah, don't ask. Best not to ask, Kit. I'm so excited, I had to take a picture of it. You took a picture? I know I shouldn't have. Um, but I couldn't help myself. Between this and the treasure room, Albie's not exactly the picture of self-restraint. Her channeling right ended right after that, so I ran off before anyone could spot me. You could have been arrested again, you know. Yeah, I know. Anyway, here's a copy of the picture. Just don't tell anyone I was the one who took it. Okay, cool. I worry about his future sometimes. Channeling photo added to the court record. Come to think of it, how did you and Shadow get into the royal residence anyway? It's not open to commoners after all. Allow me to explain. No, I don't, I don't want you to fucking explain. I just want to finish this investigation. There's a way to get into the palace from the bazaar. It's a bit of a tight squeeze though. Shadow can't fit with anywhere better out of luck. You don't say, yeah, part of the palace wall is damaged and there's a hole you can just make it through. Okay, so that's probably important. Go on. Bet you didn't know they have some really tasty food here. Oh, it's first time here, huh? The trespassing is illegal, you know. No, it's not like that. I didn't mean any harm. It's just I want to help change this kingdom. What do you mean? Oh, after Mr. Face trial, I started thinking maybe, maybe there was something I could do to help the revolution too. Oh boy. Nice trial, huh? That tragedy only happened because of how twisted Corrine's legal system has become. Yes, we get it. Oh, look, we're flashing back to you to being a dumb bitch. God, that makes me feel even better. This is when Maya channeled to rust in me and turned into an anemic old man. I get, no, I get it. Everything, yes. You've been sentencing people to death. I really wish I could skip this. God. The DC Act led to the false charges against Maya and the High Priest's suicide, but that trial also caused the public to start questioning the current state of things. And it seems that even Albie has some pretty strong feelings on the matter. I knew there had to be something I could do to help. That's when I remembered the hole in the palace wall and started thinking, maybe I could sneak in and take a picture of one of the royals up to no good. I just wanted to do my part. The spirit of the revolution seems to be catching on even with one so young. Right, the momentum is steadily building and the tipping point is fast approaching. It is just a matter of when. I agree, and the public's perception of the Defiant Dragon seems to be changing too. But all B, 
You can't go trespassing like that. Even if it's for a good cause, it's not right. Okay, I won't do it again. Albi, is that really all you have to confess? You haven't been up to any other mischief. And when I say you, I mean Shadow. Huh? Oh, um... I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> nice try, Albi, but the proof is literally right in front of us. Like, he knocked this over, you dumb bastard. I'm not stupid. Albi, you wouldn't happen to know about how this urn got knocked over, would you? Ah! Because her benevolence told me something rather interesting. Where did she go, actually? I thought she was still with me. Careful, some dingbat dog. Yeah, a dingbat dog, that's right. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, cool. I remember that from 10 minutes ago. The dingbat dog she mentioned wouldn't happen to be Shadow, would it? No! I guess the dog's out of the bag. Sorry I lied, but I was worried I'd get in trouble. I know I shouldn't lie to a lawyer like that. Yeah, now you're going to jail. No, it's not good to lie to anyone like that. So let's try to only tell the truth. Okay, Albi. Oh, Mr. Wright, I almost forgot. I saw a couple of Americans a moment ago. They had really weird haircuts, so I thought they might be friends of yours. R really now, uh... It seems your little friend thinks all us Americans have strange hairstyles. I suppose we have you to thank for that, right? So what exactly did the hair look like? Ah, uh, there was a guy with two crops of hair sticking out of his forehead like antennae. And then there was this lady with a long bunch of hair that looked like a big orange spider leg. Oh, that sounds like Apollo and Athena. What were they doing? They were racing through the bazaar with the Garan Royal Guard in hot pursuit. Wow, why couldn't you tell me this earlier? Wait, wait, what? Why were they being pursued? I'm not sure, but I have my suspicions. I just hope they're all right. Uh, sorry for not mentioning it before. It just kind of slipped my mind. Yeah, it's pretty important, I'll be. I can s slap this kid. To be continued. Okay, you guys ready for investigation part three? This just never ends. And we don't even have Maya here to help, like, alleviate some of this. Just have all be dog. Okay, here we are. We're back in the bazaar. Tap 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 tap. <laughs> those those guys sure are persistent. Huh? Huh? Yeah, they even wore me out, and that doesn't happen often. Why are they after us anyway? Uh, Apollo, it's the royal guards again. Ah, quick, hide! Go in the manhole! Go in... Go in the manhole. Go in the manhole. Hey! Where'd horn head and spiky... Spidey hair go? Spidey hair? They're not talking about me, are they? Is that a trick question? We know you're hiding somewhere around here! <laughs> Apollo, that weird-looking bird over there, uh, did it just... Yeah, it, it did. It's called a war bot, and you know what? I'll tell you all about it later when we're not being chased by masked men. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Hand over the Founder's Orb if you know what's good for you! Figures they're after the orb. I don't want to know what they'll do to us if we're captured. If they grill us in those obnoxious loud voices, I'd cave after the first hour and confess to whatever they wanted, truth or no. Come out now, you foreign devils! This has gone far enough! You must not keep her eminence waiting any longer! Gotta get out of here. Must be a safe place to hide somewhere. Yeah, well, okay, I already know where to go. We're going into the manhole. Look, a manhole! Ah! That's right! A manhole! Yeah, say son to your Yeah, I know. That's exactly why I looked at it, Dirk. Like, seriously. Okay, this one is... This chapter alone is having, like, more flashbacks than the rest of the game, it feels like. Oh, wait. You're not seriously thinking about going down there. It smells like rotten eggs. And are those rats I hear? 
We've got no choice. I can get us somewhere safe, but this is the only way in. Quick, before it's too late. Uh, it's gonna take forever to get this stench out of my hair. Well, you either get the stench out of your hair or you get killed. Which one is it? Okay, yeah, here we are. Looks like we lost him. That was close. Uh, Dirk's office. How long has it been since I last set foot in here? At least we're safe now, but uh... Why is Athena all huddled over in the corner like that? Da! That's... Hey, Jay, what the heck are you doing here? Uh, Garen's royal guards are after us, uh... <laughs> What's a rebel? Always a rebel. Ah, uh, don't worry. The regime doesn't know about this place, so you can relax now. Good, but since when am I a part of the rebellion? I don't recall signing up. Apollo! Phoenix! Hi! Mr. Wright? What are you doing here? Ah, we saw you go into that manhole. You narrowly escaped the guards' notice. It was like watching a pair of ostriches burying their heads in the sand. I guess that was a closer shave than I had thought. Anyway, you're safe and sound now, and that's really what counts. Oh, I also have some evidence for you. Thanks, Mr. Wright. Case evidence received from the boss. Thanks, boss! So, what is this dubious hovel we found ourselves in, anyway? Uh, it's the Deviant Dragon Safe House, also known as the former Saad Mahdi Lot offices. Hm, I see. Well, though it might just be happenstance, here I am, a chief prosecutor, hiding out in a rebel base. Uh, please don't report this place to the local police prosecutor, Edgeworth. Might as well take a look around while we're waiting for the heat to die down out there. Well, true, but I mean, it, it, there was a lot of pressure. I don't know, if you're around somebody like that, you probably feel compelled to tell the truth because you don't think that they're, like, that crazy. But then they turn out to be that crazy. Come on, Athena, stop moping over there and help me check this place out. Uh, please tell me there's a shower here. There's a sink in the kitchen, and if you're lucky, maybe even some soap. I'm sorry I even asked. Well, you should be. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. There's a scary looking knife sticking out of the Queen's picture. If anyone saw this, uh, they think the Defiant Dragons were a violent group. Oh, that? Uh, that was actually me trying to kill a fly. I threw that knife at it and whiffed, and the thing ended up stuck right between her eyes! You mean this wasn't on purpose? Damn, watch out, flies. Yeah, it's probably like a type of kukri knife. Wait, is this the case file? I wonder what's in this file. Oh, it's full of newspaper clippings. Page one. The arson incident involved Amara's private residence. Amara was slipped a sleeping pill and perished in the fire. The lighter found at the scene had Dirk's fingerprints on it. Oh, wow. Somebody used a, they gave her a sleeping pill? Rude. Seems to be a collection of documents and information on Amara's assassination. So this is what Dirk was talking about. We already know most of the stuff here on top. Let's see what else there is. Wow, where did he get all this? Um, anything important here? Apollo's roving musician father got caught up in the incident and lost his life. He was struck in the head by the culprit. The victim's passport and any pictures of him were burned up in the fire. Without knowing his real name, no divination seance could be performed. Oh, so he doesn't... We, we don't know his name? Apollo's roving musician. What? 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 Your dad got killed in the fire? This is, yeah, it's about your father. Looks like it. But I was never told much more than what's written here. 
Really, how come? Derek always skated around the subject. Maybe he thought I was still too young. Plus, I always thought of Dirk's, uh, Dirk as my dad. Oh, I see. Well, I feel kind of sorry for your real dad. My real dad. I was never really interested in learning about him. But after seeing this picture, I can't help but feel a little curious. I wonder if dads can tell me anything about him. <laughs> okay. Paulo, this file looks like it might be useful. But there are so many pages, I can't tell what's important. Uh, we need someone to help organize all this. And I think I know just the person to ask. This is Dirk's old law book. Look, there's a mark on the cover. It looks like it was branded on it with a hot iron. Yeah, I think it was done in protest against the Defense Culpability Act. There's an entry on the DC Act right here, see? Their eminence, those who would support criminals would be deemed just as guilty. Oh, so these are the infamous anti-lawyer laws you guys are always talking about. Dirk's law book added. The shrine. Dance, what's with the altar? Uh, it's where we pay our respects to the victims of the Defense Culpability Act. The DC Act is a heinous law that puts innocent people to death. A law that's supposed to protect the people sends them to their graves instead. Talk about insane. Hmm. hmm? Who's the kid? I mean, who else would it be? It's pretty obvious. Wait a second, that's you, Apollo. I'd recognize those horns anywhere. Is that really the only way anybody recognizes me? Hmm. <laughs> you were so cute. And who's that fine-looking young man? Really, Athena, is it? That's Nayuta back when he used to smile. Wow, his smile's absolutely angelic. Sure, it brings back memories. That was taking the day we all went out fishing. What was Prosecutor Sadmati like when he was younger? Ah, he was kind of quiet but passionate when it came to his convictions. When he finally made prosecutor, he was all fired up to change Korain for the better. Uh, but now he's nothing more than Garon's lackey. Seems like Dats has a lot to say about Nayuta. I'll ask him about his thoughts later. I'm surprised to see many, so many appliances in here. There's even a TV. Uh, speaking of which, we gave the people of Korain quite a shock when the plumed Punisher warrior of Neo Twilight Realm was last on TV. Uh, you mean the show where the actors play the parts of Dirk and Rafa? You hijacked it in the middle of its broadcast, right? Yep, all their writers do each week is try to ruin the Defiant Dragon's good name. So we decided to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> that must have been real shocking, especially for the kids who waited all week to see it. I mean, the show's main villain was actually hijacking the very show he's in. What's with all the spider webs, Dads? Don't you ever clean the place? Ah, not the webs. We have what you call a symbiotic relationship. They catch the bugs that get in here, and I don't clean them up. You know, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Dang. Who knew? Okay, well, let's go talk to Dads, I guess. So, Dats, you guys are still using these office, I see. Yep, except now it's the official HQ of the Defiant Dragons. But as Dirk said, and I quote, We must keep it for the day when Karain needs lawyers once more. Uh, restoring the legal system to its rightful form through popular uprising. You can tell how much Dirk believes in his cause. Oh, and AJ, Dirk said something else that might interest you. He said he hopes you'll come back and take over this office someday. To take over? Me? Those were his words. He may have been half joking, though. And Dirk, where I have a PW? AJ's become a lawyer. Yeah, I've been meaning to tell you. Must have been because of you, Dirk. I'm not so sure about that. Imagine he's already forgotten about me. And what are you talking about? I bet he can't wait to follow in your footsteps. Ha! <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. 
Maybe one day he'll return to Korean and take over this office. Heh, <laughs> it's just a pipe dream though. Yeah. Dirk really said that? Dirk was never a hands-on kind of dad, but not a day went by that he wasn't thinking of you. That much I'm sure of. Doesn't get more paternal than that, Dirk. To think, I really did spend my days trying to forget you. I'm looking forward to a nice long talk once you're free. Nayuta, why is he such a scrub? That's, wasn't Nayuta once part of the Defiant Dragons? Yep, Yudi was a rising star in the Resistance. He vowed to fight for the cause through the legal system. Said he'd become a prosecutor and give Inga and Garan the smackdown they deserved. But now he's a, uh, yeah, puppet of the Garan regime. Not only that, but now he's gonna prosecute his own dad. Doesn't add up. Wonder what happened to him. Me too, but if I had to guess, uh, I'd say Garan has some serious leverage over him. Leverage, like what? Wish I knew. But it seems like Dirk knows. I tried to press him about it, but he wouldn't say. Come to think of it, Dirk did say, uh... Utah is suffering. Yeah, yeah there's a rifle state of Korean's legal system. by our bath. Founding forces and bend to Garon's will and it's tearing him apart. Cool. That's the case. I bet Nayuta doesn't really want to go through with Dirk's prosecution. Wow. Imagine that. Okay. God, I just want to be done with the segment. Shh, there's so much evidence. Here, can you tell me what's important in here? That's about this file. Can you help me figure out which pages are the most relevant? Yep, sure can. I got the whole thing memorized. See, this page is definitely worth a look. Page 34. As the son of the terrorist Dirk, Nayuta was expelled from the royal family. Excuse- what? Um, big oh, okay. Mm, idea was the sins of the father visited upon this child have deeply rooted the minds of the Kurinese people. Wow, that's stupid. That's a stupid idea. I hate that. That's right, Prosecutor Sadmati was part of the royal family, wasn't he? Yeah, because technically Dirk was married to the previous queen and then she died and... Yep, but he was expelled after that whole thing with Dirk happened. Wait, how long ago? Okay, 23 years ago. What the fuck? I'm so confused, guys. When did the fire happen? I forgot. I'm so confused, because now I'm, like, convinced that, um... Fucking... God, I, I feel like, 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 how long ago did that fire happen? I, I thought they said 23 years, which is way too long for like, and well, I mean, I guess technically, um, now you knew his toy, so he's definitely his kid. God. Yeah, I can't, like, there's so much fucking information being shoved in my head. That's why I, I hate stuff like this. Like, we have literally been doing investigation for three hours, and I'm like, I can't, like, process all of this at once, guys. There's just a lot. Yeah, okay. He must have gone through hell once he entered the legal world, though. Because of the whole, the sins of the father or visited upon his children thing? Yep, in the eyes of the people, Dirk is not only a traitor to his kingdom, he's also the terrorist who assassinated the previous queen. So as his son, Yuri no doubt got the cold shoulder at every turn. Well, I, I, there's also a lot of like extraneous information that keeps getting thrown at me. And I'm like, dude, come on. I just need the, the facts of the case. Yeah, the ties between father and son are something you can break even if you try. No matter where he went, he was probably labeled the son of a criminal. But despite it all, he made a name for himself through blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, just look at him now. He's a star prosecutor working cases around the globe. He's become a hero, the pride and joy of Karain. Now that's the Nayuta I know, super smart, and never willing to give in, but now he's an asshole. Yeah, he must have studied a lot. Okay. 
Are we done here? I hope we're done here. I would love to be done here. Oh, okay, I have to... Yeah, Jove Jeff. Oh wait, no, his name is Jove Jeff. Okay, hey, what do you know about my dad? Dad, I want to ask you about this picture. That's a picture of your pops that Dirk found, and he had a heck of a time tracking it down. He said he searched all over for it. Why? Why would he go through all that trouble? Dads, please tell us everything you know about Apollo's dad. Oh God, okay. Ah, I hope this is relevant to the case, and not just bullshit. You know what my biological father was like? Dirk once told me about him. He was a modern minstrel walking the world and making music in his travels. This file also has some information on your real dad. It says he died in the blaze at Queen Amara's residence 23 years ago. That's right. Dirk had invited him over. Dirk's the kind of guy who can become fast friends with just about anyone. And it seems your pops was like that too, AJ. They hit it off at a bar, and the next thing you know, Dirk's asked him over to play some tunes. And then the place went up in flames. Ah, uh, yeah, Dirk had just stepped out for a sec when the fire broke out. Apollo, you were there too, but you were still just a baby. I remember hearing about that when I was little. Yeah, it was a crying shame. Your pops happened to take you along that day, so you were there with him when the fire broke out. But Dirk risked his life to save you! It's like Dirk's done nothing but save me all of my life. All your pops' stuff got burned up, including anything that could have helped us identify him. All we knew about him at first was his stage name, Jangly Justice, or something like that. Dirk did everything he could to dig up what little we know now. Um, what about my mother? Do you know anything about her? All we know is she was a traveling with your pops, but that day she was off doing something on her own. So then she probably didn't even know my father had been with Dirk, huh? But she must have been desperate to find you and your father once you'd gone missing. Ah, no doubt, but the Queen's assassination threw the kingdom into chaos. The police were so overwhelmed, they probably heart were probably hardly of any help to her. We searched and searched till our legs gave out too, but we never found her. And with your father's stuff all burned up, we had zero leads. Not even a photo. So that's how I became an orphan. Yeah, who knows? Maybe your mom read about the details of the fire in the newspapers. Maybe she figured you died along with your pops. Wow, I had no idea you'd been through all that, Apollo. I was too! So you believe me? You believe in my son's innocence? Oh, why is it saying old man? Uh, that's not an old man, that's believe. Why did it say old, what is happening? Your poor son in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Let's petition the government for his release and a declaration of innocence. Oh, thank you, thank you, I'm forever in your debt. Who, who is the old man, who's that? Ah, oh, hey there, Miss Inmi, hard at work, I see. Yes, I have my own battle that I must wage. After all, there are many who suffer under the Defense Culpability Act. Miss Inmi, please don't forget about our case, too. I won't. I will look into it as soon as I'm able. Stop bringing more fucking people into this. Like, I, Jesus Christ, I, I just want to get to the fucking... I just want to get to the trial, guys. I, like, holy shit, this just feels like it's dragging. So much. She's letting it air to all those suffering under the regime's wrongful accusations. A lady whose husband's been imprisoned. Parents whose son's been falsely charged. She's helping all those types of people. Cool. She's trying to help the revolution along. Yeah, believe in me. And her husband's name was Trust in me. Yeah, in her own special way. Very cool. Yep, and thanks to her, more and more folks are coming over to our side. All the people who have been unhappy with the regime have been waiting for just this chance. And they're starting to speak out in support of us. See, and the thing that I hate the most about this is the fact that the the trial itself is um, apparently also split into three fucking parts. So I'm like, how much bullshit am I going to have to go through? People are responding to it. Grassroots movement is growing. Dirk's dream of revolution may finally come true. 
What should we do about the Founder's Orb? We'll probably run into the Royal Guards again the moment we leave the place. Well, we can't stay here forever, so we'll have to think of something. I've got it! Why don't you hold on to it, Dats? Is that really a good idea? It should be safe here, right? You can count on me, I'll get it back to you in time for tomorrow's trial at the Hall of Justice. Uh, I don't really... What now, Apollo? Well, we've got a handle on what happened 23 years ago. Maybe we should play, pay Dirk a visit. There's something I want to show him. I'll join you. I want to talk to him before tomorrow's trial. Maybe I should wait here then. We'll attract undue attention if we go in too large of a group. Okay, keep an eye on Nats for me, please. Um, I trust you, Edgeworth. Okay. Dirk. I don't, I know, I've been here five times. I really hate how slow that text is. Hey there, son, come to see your old man again? Hi, Dirk, guess they're done questioning you. Yeah, you'd think Nayuta might cut his old man a little slack, but no. He really laid into me. Seems they're really keen on recovering the Founder's Orb. When I wouldn't tell them where it was, he confiscated what few possessions I had left. Wait, Dirk's not wearing his attorney's badge. They even took that from him? Ugh. He confiscated all my prized jailbreaking tools. Uh, what did you expect? Uh, I mean, no prosecutor in the right mind would let a prisoner keep stuff like that. Did he take your attorney's badge too? No, I thought it strange, but uh... Just when it looked like he was going to take it from me, he changed his mind. Oh, I wonder why. Indeed. I find it hard to understand anything he does these days. Oh. Your current needs attorney's badge. You've worn it all these years, even through all, the, even though all the lawyers are gone. Yes, because the dragon's eye is the mo is the embodiment of my creed. Show the world that a dragon never yields, huh? Hey, Dirk. Why do you still wear your badge? You're not a lawyer anymore, right? The badge is my heart and soul, son. I'll never stop trying to realize my dream. Not until my very last breath. Dragon never yields, right? Exactly. Nayuta, Apollo, I vow to restore Corain's legal system to its rightful state one day. I want to pass on to you a world where you can live free from the fear of tyranny. Yay, thanks, Dad. He was always saying stuff like that to the two of us. And now look at Nayuta. He's an asshole. Yeah. Because you still remember those talks too? Yeah, probably. I really hope that's what it is. I don't know. I still have a good... I, I still feel like I'm going to just not give a shit about Nayuta even by the end of the game. So, sorry. Na Nayuta stands. Son, would you keep it my badge for me? Are you sure? I can't take something so important to you. That's exactly why I want you to hold on to it, Apollo. I'm placing my fate in your hands. Oh, that's not heavy at all. Thanks. All right, I'll make sure it stays safe. Yay, thanks for the badge. Oh, I don't want to, why would I examine this room? Hey, I found this in the tomb. Look familiar? God, th th that's Dirk. Where did you find it? Down between the monk statues in the tomb. Is it yours, Dirk? Oh, um, it's, uh, it's something I bought. Hmm? Why is he suddenly acting all awkward? Hmm. I wonder when I lost it. Let's have it. It's very important to me. Of course. I'll just make a note about it for a future reference. Pen and adorned with pink butterfly. Seems it belongs to Dirk, stained with the victim's blood. Apollo, remember how Inga said he had someone dear to Dirk? Why don't you ask about that? All right, I'll give it a try. Wait, let me check something. Uh, 
Oh. Someone dear to Dirk. What did the minister mean when he said that he had someone dear to you in the palm of his hand? Who was he talking about? Hmm? Now you just seem to know, but he wouldn't tell me anything. Well, well, I have no idea, so, uh... Well, you obediently followed his every word after he said that. So it seems to me the minister was in close proximity to someone you really care about. Oh, um, someone you really care about that isn't Nayuta. Wait, don't tell me. Is there a new lady in your life, Dirk? What, what, no, don't be ridiculous, son. The love of my life was Amara, but she's gone now and there'll never be another. Oh! Oh, my lie detection bracelet is tingling. Dad, don't lie. Derek, have you really not met somebody new? Boom. Oh! There was something there. Gotcha! Gotcha! Did I actually see it? You seem uneasy, Dirk. Wait, don't tell me you're ashamed because she's much younger than you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just getting tense because you're intrusive questions. Anyone would react the same way. Okay, I guess it, uh, I think I missed my opportunity. God damn it. Can we speed this up at all? Of course not. Oh, I guess he's just pre I was like, what the hell is going on there? Oh wait, here we go. Guys, right, so let's do this. Gotcha. Gotcha! Dirk, you can't fool me. You tensed up when you said, but she's gone now. And you unconsciously moved your arm. Causing something to press up against your jacket. Ah! How did you do that? Oh, so that's it. You're hiding a woman's photo up your sleeve. You don't have to keep secrets like that from me, Dirk. You're an eligible bachelor now, but you'll introduce her to me at some point, right? I keep telling you there's no other woman! Fine, then let's see it. What are you hiding up your sleeve? It's just this. Satisfied? Hmm? But that's the pendant we found in Amara's tomb. See, I wasn't trying to hide anything. Why did he tense up? Dirk, let me take a look at that. Duh! Hey, what's this button for? Click. Because she's not gone? Yeah, that's it. I'm like, I'm so confused right now. Whoa! It, it's... It's a picture of Dirk and some lady, and she's really young looking, too. Mondu, are you into younger women, Dirk? It's like, shut up! <laughs> Dirk, you old dog, you got yourself a young lover. Will you stop with this nonsense? This is Amara before she died. If you look closer, you'll see that I was younger too. I mean, look at my hair. It's not nearly as cool and long. <laughs> hey, you're right. There's a big old thumbprint on there. Oh, that's no fun. Wow, Athena, stop trying to cause drama. Wait a second, haven't we seen this woman before? Now that you mention it, isn't this one- oh. Oh, yeah, that- but it uh The woman in this pendant is also the one in this photo. Uh, Apollo, where did you get this? Uh, from the safe in Inga's room. Apollo, if this is Queen Amara, it had to have been taken at least 23 years ago. That's just not possible. Yeah, I noticed the same thing. 
Here's why this photo couldn't be 23 years old. Uh, uh, because of the baby? Take that. The baby? I don't see how that proves anything. Look closer. Doesn't that part look, you know, kind of modern? No, okay, never mind. Maybe it's the law book. Shut up! I don't- I fight. I'm sorry! Yeah, it might be the dragon. Oh my god! Sh Jesus Christ! Sh I know I fucked up! Thanks! Holy crap! You guys don't have to go on a fucking tangent! Look at this stupid dragon book! Looks exactly like white-haired anime boy. I know exactly. This has gotta be mom. Take a look at the law book. It has the mark of the defiant dragon branded on it. That mark didn't exist until after you started your revolutionary m activities, Dirk. So this photo must have been taken after Garan came into power. And that didn't happen until after Amara was assassinated. Gah! So then, how could Amara even be in this photo? No! That's not Amara! Wait a second, that would mean that Amara... No, wait, either Amara's alive or fucking... This chick is wearing some fake hair and is crazy, but no, that's... Yeah. She's 43. No, that can't be right. God! This is so annoying. Like, I just want to fucking figure out what's going on. They keep skirting around everything. Still alive? Yeah, I guess Nana is probably... Maybe. Darg! Uh, looks like you found me out, son. Why didn't you fucking tell me? Wait, so it's actually true? And that would... Uh, what the fuck? Dude, what is happening? I just want to fucking beat this game. So I can know what the hell is going on. What do you mean Amara's still alive? I thought she'd been assassinated. Uh, so did I. But it seems she made it out alive only to be held captive by the Garn regime. Why would they do that? When I fled from the law and went underground 23 years ago, I heard some shocking news from a defiant dragon spy. There were rumors of Queen Amara being sighted in the palace. And those rumors turned out to be true. Yes, I snuck into the palace to see for myself. She was confined within the grounds, but otherwise, she was as fit as a fiddle. So then the sarcophagus in the tomb, it's empty? Yes, that entire tomb is one big charade. Garan had it built to stage Amara's death. Jesus Christ, come on. So not going to be cursed by her vengeful spirit, that's a relief. She was being held under virtual house arrest. So I freed her and we made a run for it. This photo was taken back then. Look at how they're both grinning from ear to ear. Hmm? There's a fingerprint on the metal part. I guess Dirk must have left it by accident. Oh, Mr. Sadmadi, I want to hear all about how you ran away with Queen Amara. Well, that's when she died. Well, he's smiling. I don't know. Stained with the victim's blood. Okay. On the... Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so much. I'm surprised you and Amara agreed to run away with you. I mean, Garon must have told her that you tried to kill her. I tried to convince her that I wasn't the one who set the blaze. And she believed you? She said, and I quote, I shall accompany you so I may ascertain the truth myself. Hm, she always was a tough one to read. I bet she was thrilled when you came to the rescue, Mr. Sadmadi. To be set free by your beloved, it's like something out of a fairy tale. Athena, please. Yeah, well, there was no happily ever after once Garin's people caught up with us. They took Amara away to who knows where. I snuck back into the palace and searched high and low for her, but to no avail. They probably moved her to some remote mountain prison or the like. Dirk, does Nayuta know about this? He knows she's his true mother. I told him as much. So the whole fucking reason why Nayuta has, like, sided with them is they probably are using the mother as collateral. Still doesn't excuse the fact that he's a fucking horrible, assholey piece of shit. But now at least we know why he's being even worse. 
Sorry, I just do not like Nayuta. Not, not good. Wait, is that why Nayuta is following Gran's orders? Probably, most likely. So then do you think that deep down he doesn't really want to prosecute you? Well, he's not one to show his feelings. And lately I've had no idea what he's thinking. Apollo, we need to grill the queen about Amaro when we have a chance. Um, I was wondering about something. The little baby the lady's holding, is that Prosecutor Satmati? Not necessarily, it could just as well be me. After all, we're only one year apart. I don't know, I mean, the kid in the picture is too cute to be you. I think I'd, shut up. Let's settle this by asking Dirk himself before I punch this lady. Okay, show the picture, I guess, again, or for the first time. Is that me or is it him? <clears throat> Dirk, uh, about the cute little kid in this photo. Is that me? Huh? What are you talking about? See, I told you it was Prosecutor Sadmati. Huh? Uh, oh no. Oh, I see. Well, either way, it's not you, son. Uh, so then, if it's Nayuta, it was taken when he was about a year old, right? And that would mean you ran away with Amara around 22 or 23 years ago. Hmm? Uh, you're pretty good with numbers, son. Impressive! Huh? No, what kind of answer is that? Fucking tell me! Everybody stop skirting around issues. Like, holy shit, this game pisses me off sometimes with that. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> Before you go, son, there's something else I need to tell you. Something important. Is it the fucking truth? Or are you just, like, bringing me out in goddamn circles again, Dirk? What is it, Dirk? I've never seen you act so serious before. <coughs> what is it? So what's this something important you have to tell me? Listen, son, even if you manage to prove me innocent tomorrow. Jesus, enough with the fucking silences. How many times? I, I don't have long to live. Huh? You have a disease? Well, what are you talking about? What I mean is I can already hear the Twilight Realm calling my name. There's no escaping death now that it has its sights set on me. What? Is that another one of your jokes? I wish it was. <laughs> you can't fool me, Dirk. Hmm? That's, a uh, strange. Why isn't my bracelet reacting? Oh, boy. Are you sick? It's something like that. So you're not joking? I'm afraid not, son. Sorry. Isn't there a cure? Or at least some sort of treatment? Unfortunately not. Not for what I've got. You need some kind of surgery, I'll work hard until I can pay for it. Is it because he's heartbroken? Please, just fucking tell me! So please! It's too late, there's nothing more to be done now. But you always say a dragon never yields, so why are you giving up now? Apollo, I'm sorry, I really am. No, uh, you're not making any fucking sense, you're being just as cryptic as every other person in this game, and it's really pissing me off. Yeah, why is this happening, Dirk? Why? Listen, Apollo, I've got a favor to ask of you. Like, do, can we have some kind of fucking explanation, sir? Would you keep quiet about this? I don't want my fellow dragons to find out. They'd lose all hope if they knew I was dying. Would you do that for me? Uh, okay, of course. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's pissing me off. Why is this happening now? Just when I was finally starting to feel like you really are my... <sighs> this game has already put me on enough rides. I just want to fucking be done. Can I... Can we be like, okay, good, you win. He's innocent. The, the, the shit is bad. Woohoo. Dirk dies, I guess, at the end. <clears throat> well, the doctors don't. Yeah, well, he could have at least said that. But he's just like, no, I... I meh.
damn it. Why? Hollow? Listen, son, I don't have much longer to live because of a mysterious reason that I'm not going to fucking tell you, apparently. But I'll never let them execute me. Not before I finish what I need to do. I know, Dirk. There's no way I'm going to let them prove you guilty. Before he goes, I'm going to turn back time by righting the wrongs that have been done. <clears throat> I'm going to restore Dirk's freedom. And return a real smile to Nyuta's dumb fuck face. I'm gonna win this case. I just have to. Son, I have one more big secret. Uh, what fucking else? What, there's something else you've been hiding from me? I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is. Then why you didn't you fucking mention it? Oh, this pisses me off so much. I'd be betraying a certain someone if I did. Why even mention it if you're not gonna fucking tell me? Like, holy shit. Uh, yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Forgive me. You'll just have to find out for yourself. That's the only way. I, Phoenix is right there. Can't Phoenix just, like, poke his Cyclox and be like, dude, fucking just tell us. I don't understand, Dirk. This is annoying and dragging on forever. You're basically pulling me. You've been pulling me around in circles. For like 30 fucking minutes, I'd like to go. You might have to face a truth that's difficult for you to accept, but I know you can handle the truth no matter what it turns out to be. Yeah, it's- that's- I hate it. I know that because I believe in you. You're my son after all. Dirk, what is he talking about? Wait, he's not going to reveal that he actually is the killer, is he? Uh, looks like we've run out of things to discuss. Apollo? Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. No, and then it turns out that Dirk is actually the previous queen! Release Dirk! Oh! Uh, sounds like the party's getting started without me. Huh? It's coming from the temple! Let's go, Apollo, and take a look! Okay, let's go to Temple Temple, I guess. We're still not in the... trial yet. <clears throat> temple Temple. Oh, what is all of this? Are they gonna... Oh! Ow, ow, ow! Let go, will ya? Dats! Where's the orb, Dats? What are they... Huh? Well, look at that. The people are coming to take their courts back. Where's the orb? Edgeworth, where are you with my orb? Dats! Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Dirk belongs to the people. Give him back. Yeah, where are you holding him? Quiet down, you. Hey, I might big sister too, but she didn't do anything wrong. Ouch, ouch, stop pulling my hair. Release my son, release him now. Ah, stop that, no biting. Jesus, it's really something. And it looks like Dats and Miss Inmi are leading the charge. You unenlightened fools, do you honestly think this will change anything? Beauty, why do you keep serving that witch Garan? Ah, it's... Hey, Nayuta! Hey, what's going on, Otter? Ugh, God, there's, it's just so much, like, dumb political bullshit, but I'm pretty sure the queen is the one behind, and maybe... Oh, God, I'm trying to figure out who the hell... Nana is. Maybe she is the other queen. I don't know. It's actually kind of annoying me, Otter, because it's just dragging on, like... We're almost four fucking hours into stream and recording, and we're still in the we're in the second investigation of the final episode. And I'm like, I just want to get on with this. And apparently the final trial is split is also split into three parts. I hope to God they're all not like two hours each or something, because I really just want to figure out what's going on and like finish this game. What's going on here? It would appear that the insurgents are fanning the flames of rebellion, but I never thought it would grow so large. However, they will all be under arrest shortly. Reinforcements are almost here. 
They'll be arrested just for protesting. They are aiding and abetting a criminal by seeking his release. Her eminence, Queen Garan, has ordered they be arrested and judged in mass. But weren't you once a member of the Defiant Dragons too? Yeah, it's just, there's been so much like extraneous information and also so much fucking like circle jerking going, like fucking Dirk and 50,000 different cryptic revelations. And I'm like, I just like, stop being like, I have a secret, but I can't tell you because of a certain someone. Okay, bye. And I'm like, then don't tell me at all. Like, this is just, just a waste of breath. Just fucking let me, like, continue. How can you go along with this? I am simply following the orders that her eminence has handed down. Now, it can't be as simple as that. Listen, Nayuta, there's something I want to talk to you about. Hey, you're not getting away this time. We need to talk. Ah, uh, I see there's no reasoning with you. Very well then, speak. God, and why do I gotta keep talking to this fucker? Just please, for the love of God. Now you do you really have to serve as prosecutor in Dirk's case? I mean, prosecuting your own flesh and blood, it's just not right. We, we went over this already, like twice with him. Uh, yeah, again with this drivel, like the one and only time that I am going to agree with Nayuta. Your ethical standards are not be all and all of the world around you. I'm not getting into another debate with him. Nayuta, did you know that Dirk is sick? What? He apparently doesn't have that much longer to live. If found guilty, he probably wouldn't even make it until his execution day. What are you talking about? Knowing this, are you still prepared to send an already dying man to his grave? Well? I... Enough with the Zen Monk Act, Nayuta. Tell me how you really feel. Mr. Justice, each person is born with a role to fulfill, and I must fulfill mine. Well, I'm not convinced that taking Dirk to trial are part of your lot in life. As for why you've been at Garan's every beck and call, I think I might have the answer. Nayuta, you know the truth about your mother, don't you? About how the former queen is still alive and being held somewhere. So Dirk told you, did he? Yes, it's true. My mother was spirited away to some remote corner of this kingdom to keep her safe from harm. Safe from harm? But Dirk said the Goron regime is holding her captive. No, they're keeping her safe. So you don't know where Amar is being held. I only know that it is some secluded hideaway where visitors are not allowed. I have heard that she leads a simple life akin to that of a monastic, uh, that of monastic disciples. Sure sounds like she's being held captive to me. Listen, Nayuta, aren't you really doing the queen's bidding? Or are you, because she's holding Amara captive? And this whole thing with Dirk, you know he didn't really kill Inga, don't you? Oh, cool. I love conversations that are 90% fucking silence that I cannot skip. Dirk doesn't have much longer to live, so I want to help him however I can. I'm sorry, I'm complaining about that a lot, but like seriously, at this point, it's like, please. I just, I just want to like get things going and see how the fuck this ends and like figure things out. But everything is just giving more fucking questions. This time, it's our turn. Yeah. Uh, yes, flashbacks. That's just what I need to elongate my playthrough even more of this game. And I have to watch it play out in like the slowest fucking scrolling speed. It's our turn to help Dork however you can. Yeah, come on, Nayuta. Nope, you're just gonna be quiet again for like 10 seconds. What you speak of is futile. Ah, uh, let it go and move on. The guilty verdict, the hopelessness. Uh, you must resign yourself to it all. Yeah, it's kind of feeling that way. I mean, at least things will get revealed in the end, and I know they will, but at this point, I'm just like, I'm getting pissed because I'm like, you guys are not helping at all. 
Like when I talk to Albi and every time he's like, okay, here's a long flashback sequence you have to go through. I'm like, no, fuck you, Albi. Tell me what you know. Tell me what I need to know. So let it go and move on. Shut up. Can I punch you yet? Nayuta, are you really just gonna roll over on this? I've no more time for idle chatter. I must prepare for tomorrow's trial. Now, if you'll excuse me. Apollo, I sensed a whirlpool of emotions coming from within Prosecutor Sadmati just now. Anger, shock, bewilderment. Yeah, I picked up on that too. Man. So I just like looked it up and I'm like, the, the single player main story of this is like 30 something hours. You know how long I spent on most Ace Attorney games? Like about 20 tops. And I feel like this final chapter is just the final episode is going to be like 12 hours of that. And I'm just like, please, guys, I would like it if it was more evenly distributed. Like. Not going to lie, the third episode and this episode are more than half of the game, and I don't like that because I I want to get things done. Like the fourth episode was a breath of fresh air because it was short and to the point, and then we jump back into this shit, and I'm just like, man, that wasn't enough of a breather to deal with that. Uh, looks like Dirk won't be the only one who needs to help tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's about time to pay Queen Garan another visit. Yeah, I know. It's just like, geez, come on and ask her about her sister, Amara. Yes, because I want to fucking talk more before the trial that hasn't even happened yet. Um, where am I going to the audience chamber? Like, how much longer can they drag this out? Garon Palace, audience chamber. Yeah, I get it. Just fucking please. Hmm? The Royal Guard isn't around. That is utter, utter hooey! You cannot continue to deceive the people like that! Rafa, justice is much more than simply speaking the truth. Is that Princess Rafa and Queen Garon over there? You deceived me too, mother! How can I ever believe a word you say again? You, you, nincompoop! Yeah, that's right, you yell at her. Fuck your mom. Yeah, I'm just like, man. Ah, are you okay? Y your benevolence. I uh, couldn't help it over here. You could have lied and said, like, I just got here. Mm -hmm. You impudent. Katonk. Ow! No, stop. Okay, well, good. You got a good whack in. Are you okay, Mr. Wright? I can't believe she actually punched you. Yeah, I'm used to it by now. What's the matter with the princess? Did you just hear some bullshits going on? Sound like she was arguing with her mother. Maybe it has something to do with this picture. Rafa said she had to ask her mother about some secret or another as soon as she saw it. So then... Does that mean Princess Rafa knows what really happened? That Amara wasn't assassinated and is still very much alive? It seems so. She doesn't seem to be taking Garan's lies very well. But that's no surprise, considering how much Rafa reveres her mother. That would definitely cause her a great deal of anguish and sadness. Eavesdropping, are we? How very rude. Hmm? You there. Are you not Dirk's son? Um, nice to meet you, your eminence. We're actually here to speak with you if you could spare a moment. Boy, Amara's alive. <clears throat> Your Eminence, Dirk told me about Amara. About how she's still alive, that is. We know not of what you speak. You're a fucking liar. After Dirk learned Amara was still alive, he rescued her and they ran off together. But she was captured and remains captive in a secret location to this day. As for Nayuta doing your bidding, it's only because Amara's life is in your hands. <laughs> What an act of imagination you have. <laughs> a lawyer and a comedian, how droll! Oh, uh, well, where'd they come from? Anyway, if she's gonna play dumb, I'll just have to jog her memory with some evidence.
Then how about, uh, this shit? How do you like evidence shoved in your face? Uh, your eminence, I ask that you take a look at this photo. Why, that's... It's a photo of Amara. And here you can see a law book bearing the mark of the Defiant Dragons. I believe you know what that means. Very well. Royal Guard, stand down. Yes, your eminence. Here, wish it our command. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. It seems there's no need to perpetuate this charade any longer. We shall speak of all we know. Will you, though? Amara's alive! <laughs> so then you admit that Amara's still alive. Yes, she is under our protection in a safe location. I think you mean being held prisoner. And where is she being kept? Oh, ho, ho, ho. now why would we tell the son of a traitor that? Guess she has a point there. Now heed our warning, horned devil. It would not be wise to inform the people that Amara yet lives. It would only serve to plunge public order into chaos. I have no intention of doing that. Besides, there are real terrorists out there who might try to kill her. Good. Now there was something we have been meaning to ask you. Do you know what has become of the Founder's Orb? I'm asking the questions. The Founder's Orb went missing after Dirk took it into the tomb. As his son, we thought you might know something of its current whereabouts. I knew it. I suppose I should thank you for that free running tour of Karain. That was the Royal Guard's own doing. Nice try, lady. But now you're definitely not getting the orb, ever. Why do you want the orb so badly, anyway? Because it would be most dangerous in the wrong hands. It must be recovered. Is the legend true? Can the orb really impart spiritual power? Are you worried that someone could overthrow you with it? The Holy Mother's power is without equal. Should Her Holiness once again return to our world, she could conceivably bestow great power upon the one who unlocked the orb's secret. I guess it makes sense, considering spirit channeling is a fact of life here. So, we ask you, Horned Devil, did you receive the Founder's Orb from Dirk? Does it look like I did? So you like to play games, do you? Are we calling the fucking Royal Guard? Royal Guard, yes, your eminence, search this devil and his belongings. I want your eminence! Don't move! You're only making this harder on yourself! Yikes, hey, cut it out. Okay, cool. There's a good bunch of... Yes, they're checking my belongings. Very good. Eek! Apollo, don't strip here! Stop resisting! Just submit to our strip search already! Okay. How long do we have to deal with this? Like, seriously, guys. We're almost to the trial. We're so close. We're so close to actually being able to start the final fucking trial. Okay, rest in peace is my poor tattered dignity. There's no sign of the Founder's Orb, Your Eminence! So, you have hidden it somewhere. Hmm, no matter. We shall recover it one way or another once you are found guilty of abetting the accused. Dirk was right. She really is bent on getting the orb. Mother! Looks like the princess is back. I took a stroll to try to calm myself, but, uh... I still find this situation unacceptable. The people must be informed about Queen Amara. So she does know about that! Rafa, you do not yet possess a clear grasp of how a government and its people interact. There will always be secrets that must be kept from the ignorant masses. Mm hmm You have little faith in our people, Mother. But it is the royal priestess's duty to always speak the truth. And as such, I cannot remain silent. I will not! Hmm. The truth, you say? Your mind has been poisoned by the barbed one. Uh, it was an honor and a pleasure, your eminence. <laughs> yes, Phoenix. We must speak with our child. It is a mother's duty to discipline her child, after all. Now, if you would excuse us, I don't trust that at all. 
No, she's coming with us. Discipline coming from her. I don't like the sound of- Yeah, Apollo! No! Rafa, come with me! Rafa. Well. Well, Apollo, let's head back to the safe house for now. Phoenix. Wow, you're so fucking cold-hearted, man. She's definitely just gonna, like, straight up kill her child. Good idea. We need to get what we uh, yeah, collect our thoughts. Back to the detention center. What am I supposed to? What am I supposed to fucking do now? Back to Temple Temple? I don't fucking know. Sorry. Like, I'm using a guide as I'm going through as well, just in case I like, miss anything, or just so I know where to fucking go. And it said to go to the detention center right after talking in the audience chamber. Man, it's like one final scene plays between you and Dirk. What scene? Oh, what am I supposed to show him now? Am I showing you the assassination file? I prepared that myself. Use it well. Surprised you were able to gather this much information. It wasn't easy. After all, all of the evidence from the assassination was lost in the fire. And the newly installed Garen regime was full control of the media. Every lead I tried to follow led to a dead end. So then, how am I supposed to solve this case? You'll figure something out once tomorrow's trial is underway. After all, no one's looked into this assassination since my last trial. I hope I can turn things around enough to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Okay, I'm... I'm so fucking... How the fuck am I supposed to... Talk to Garon, present the warrant, talk again. Once done, move to the detention center. I did. Nothing is happening. Did I... Is there something I forgot to show him? Sorry guys, I just really want to fucking finish with this. Where am I supposed to go? Well, I don't think she's there anymore. Um... Nope. Royal Residence? Nope. Okay, game. Can you fucking, like, throw me a goddamn bone? I just... I don't want to fucking flounder around because you just do not know how to fucking help me move forward. There's only like 7,000 places I can go and none of them are helping. Is it back here? Are we getting the orb now? Okay. Wow. Cool. I guess we're going back here. Dats, did you escape the grip of those officers? Did they say the safe house? I don't know. I'm just... I'm so... I'm getting so fucking burned out. Like, you know what, guys? Like, seriously. I had a whole month away from this game. But I'm... I'm just like, man, I'm done. I'm ready to be done. Ah, oh, you're back. Yeah, well, the guide said go to, straight to the detention center, so... Thank you for holding down the fort, Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth. Sorry it took so long. Hope you weren't too bored. Ah. <sighs> I watched the Plumed Punisher, warrior of Neo Twilight Realm, while you were gone. And my verdict is, it's an outrage, especially its theme song. Even worse, the people here believe it's an original Kurani show. Can you believe it? I've already spoke about it at length with, uh, oh, wow. Man, so apparently he's actually a really uh, big fan of Steel Samurai. Not sure what he's babbling about, but at least it seems he wasn't bored. Moving along to things that actually matter. I don't know, I think that matters a lot, Phoenix. We gathered about all the information and evidence we can concerning the case. I think it's time we go over everything we've learned so far. Oh boy. That's... Finding his murder. Uh, the orb trial, Maya's abduction, and the murder of Mastermind behind it all, Justice Minister Inga. It's a lot to consider. Think you have all the facts straight in your head? Yep, I've got it covered, Mr. Wright. Kind of, probably. And it's the truth about what really went down that's going to be the problem. Yeah, it's like the more we learn about this case, the less we understand. Wow, Athena, good job. Thanks, game devs, for being like, wow, maybe we made this really fucking annoying and hard to understand right before the final trial. But whatever, that's cool, I guess. 
man, I love when games do those little self inserts where it's like, wow, this is really annoying. And I'm like, yeah, why'd you fucking do it then? I agree, there's a deep darkness enveloping this case. I'm almost afraid of what we will find once uh, we lift that black veil. Suffice to say, the real killer is certainly waiting underneath. The real killer, huh? Now that's a million dollar question. Who killed Inga and why? Think, Apollo. Who would you say had a motive to commit the crime? Uh, the, the queen? I, for one, am drawing a complete blank. Well, Athena, you know, that's just normal. I want to know how the killer slipped into the tomb, killed Inga, and slipped back out without ever being seen. That's a bona fide locked room mystery right there. Well, we've collected plenty of evidence and statements. I just hope the rest comes out in court. It'll be a thinner tightrope than usual, that's for sure. Okay. This case had one big fly in the ointment. In order to prove Dirk completely innocent, we'll also have to exonerate him of the crime committed 23 years ago. <sighs> Mara's supposed assassination. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. But Dirk could still be charged with plotting to kill her. He couldn't discover the truth, even after the two decades of investigation. So our biggest hurdle is going to be the complete lack of evidence. Oh, hello! The fire made sure of that. Mr. Wright, have you ever won a case without any evidence? Uh, no. That's stupid. That's the one thing I've never done before, yeah. A trial unprecedented even in the decorated annals of the Wright Anything Agency. Still, I can't help but wonder, was there really no evidence left behind? Oh, we can't forget about the Defense Culpability Act. Hmm. Those who would support criminals will be deemed just as guilty. In short, if Dirk is found guilty and is sentenced to death, Hmm. We're likely to join him in a very public execution. Yeah, yeah! Beat the charges or die. What kind of crazy upside down legal system is it anyway? Uh, the Karenis legal system? Don't worry, I can ask someone as young as you to risk- Or I can't ask someone as young as you to risk your life, Athena. So tomorrow, it'll just be me and Apollo on the courtroom floor. But you can support us by watching from the gallery. What? No! I want to help! I'm a part of the agency too, after all. Okay, then... Perish. Uh, sorry, but this is a direct order from your boss. Plus, there's Prosecutor Blackwell to think of. He said he'd use me for sword practice if I put you in harm's way! Oh, Black Will! See, there you are. There's Black Will for ya. Ugh, Simon! Yeah. Well, at least promise me that you- This YouTube, promise me you'll make it back alive! Uh, sure. Ha ha ha, make it back alive! Huh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what's with that face, Apollo? You never inspire confidence in your client like that. And it'll play right into the prosecution's hands. Remember, the worst of times when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles when they're about to die. You're right! Even when it seems hopeless, and when there's not a shred of evidence to be found, we can never let it show on our faces, right? Okay. So, but will I actually be able to do that tomorrow? When push comes to shove, will I be able to force my biggest smile? Find out in, like, a few minutes, because I think we're finally doing the trial. Oh my god, guys, we made it! Turnabout Revolution. Jesus Christ, guys. Okay. So, 